Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and of course, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to a brand new Wednesday, and welcome back to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time instead of 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'll get into the reasoning behind that in just a moment, but I want to go ahead and say hi to all of you guys out there in the chat, out there in the early squad, and I want to say massive thank you to you guys for dropping in today. I know that we're, like I said before, we're live an hour earlier than we normally are, but that is because I had to shift the schedule around today. I'm getting some work done on the S. 2000 a little bit later on in the afternoon but once again with that being said welcome back to the stream you guys i'm seeing these lighted out there in the moderator squad is insanity wolfie and phantom and one and four wheels and let's see that one roblox sergeant and we got let's see 1015 we got pb72 reina we got let's see hacker kid gaming and more we got epic winner we got insane giving out fun we got gold we got dough we got walker we got tnd don't mind we got carson we got gunner we got thomas and charlie what is going on my dudes thank you so much for stopping by and landon and colton and josh and daniel and lion king and flame and phantom what's going on out there my dude we got Killian, we got Golzin, we got Daniel, we got Rickborn999YT, we got Golden Master, we got David Herbie, what is going on, buddy? We got, let's see, Special Blitz, that guy Bryce, we got Rye, we got Wyatt, Epic, uh, let's see, Colton, Boomlim, what's going on? And we got, let's see, uh, Timothy, we got Kyler, we got Lone, uh, Lone Wolf Gaming, what's up, my dude? Thank you so much for stopping by. My voice is a little done still this morning, and uh, Carson Ford says, what happened to the ORG350? It probably had an update. Um, I, I looked at it on my console literally yesterday, and it probably had an update pushed, but it should get reapproved really quickly. Brandon and Aaron and Goldsman, Roger and Million and Josh, and let's see, we got Rebecca out there, we got Terry out there, we got Tyler and Dimitri and Lane and Amanda and Lion King and Pender 43 and Brandon Keller and Daniel and... And let's see, Watch and Zachary and Crystal and Ghost Trap, Evan and Noah and Britton. What's going on, you guys? Thank you all so much once again for stopping by out here on the stream. Let me go ahead and make sure that you guys have full-on game sound today. Everything should be running pretty smoothly, but if it isn't, make sure to let me know out there in the chat. We got, let's see, uh, Tegan as well. And I love the new console mods on Sterner. Heck yeah, dude. Berlina and Aiden and Y Dog, what's going on, my dudes? Now, dude, you guys have already blown through the first 200 people out here on the stream. Thank you so much. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you guys about today is the fact that we have, like I said before, a ton of new console mods that have been approved, including the r, &R Customs 8000 series, the Delta Hercules, the Jeep's Trails map, the IBK 100A, the CCM uh, KJ68, the Risky's Powerhouse, well, uh, the Risky's Powerhouse, just Risky's Powerhouse, it's not the Risky's Powerhouse, but like I said, the RNG, or sorry, not RNG, r, &R. Uh, either way, either way, I'm getting my terminology mixed up today. But the ORG350, here's the answer to why that is not on consoles at the moment. And Jermaine Reed, uh, good morning, early stream today. Yeah, so basically, I'm going to also explain to you guys the reason why we're live an hour earlier than normal today. Basically, the S2000 needs to get some work done on it this afternoon. And instead of going on, like going from noon to, to where we usually do about noon to 3, today we're going from about like you know 11 to about 2-ish. So we shifted everything up an hour, but hopefully that's you know no big deal. And the ORG350 recently got an update, and it needs to be reapproved for consoles, okay? That is why it's not on your console right now. It needs to be reapproved, but it will be back. Don't worry. It will be back. It will be back. It's not gone. It didn't get taken away. It just got an update, and it needs to be reapproved once again. Once again, it just got an update. It needs to be reapproved, and it will be back as soon as it has been reapproved. The ORG is on consoles. Uh, Jonathan, like I said, it was on consoles yesterday, but isn't on the browsers as of today. So, with that being said, Epic Warner says, how was your vacation? It was really good, dude. It was actually really, uh, really nice to be able to take some time off and uh, take some time to chill out and spend time with family what about the highway map the Harley, uh, highway map should be coming pretty dang soon charlie pretty dang soon we're also going to go ahead and get diesel addict in here momentarily and also this is new as well it's literally i believe a uh buick century it's it's a console friendly buick century it's not on consoles just yet but it's gonna be a weird one so let's go ahead and get diesel addict in here into the vc and see what he let's see see what he has to say not only about that but about many 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 other things that we're going to uh be diving into today somebody says i found a money glitch i now have 75 million in my career mode save yeah so as far as that goes just be really careful be really careful with that because the devs have taken away money before for exploited glitches what's up dude how's it going tc not bad and to answer your question i do have the updated peterman so 
Okay. Let's see. I believe I have the updated Peterman anyway. Now, somebody said, where's Puppy in the chat? Uh, Puppy, I'm not sure. Honestly, we'll, we'll have to see on that. We already got over 300 people out here on the stream. Thank you guys so much. If you are just joining us today, thank you so much for coming out to our uh, our early start of a stream today. We're going to be diving into a bunch of the new console mods as well as console-friendly mods that are in development as well as a few other things that you guys may not have seen yet as well as updates to mods that, once again, are still in development and you guys may not have seen. But one of the biggest ones that we're excited to show you guys today is the Peterman, which is basically a console-friendly Peter built. And let's see. Got a... Oh! Interesting. Where did that... Um, I don't know, Diesel, if you saw that out there in the chat. Carson says they've made the testing system automated, and that's why mods are coming out faster. Maybe that was... Was that something that I missed while I was on vacation? Uh, if you missed it, then so did I, because this is the first I've heard of it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, let's see. We got Hunter and Mason and Kazuki and Jerry and Sounder out there in the chat. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We got Ryan as well. And let's see, Cooper, is the Ford out? If you're talking about the ORG350, it just had to get an update, but it should be um, reapproved really, really soon. So did you get, Diesel, this is one of my one of my questions that I'm very, very, very curious and also hopeful about. Did you get... The streamer edition of Badlands 2. Yes, I did. Oh, boy. And what's up, Indiana, with that $5 super chat out there? Thank you. And he says, hi, TC. Hope you had a great weekend of vacation. I got to drive an IRL Dodge Demon. Not that I could afford it. Well, hey, you still got to drive it, though. <laughs> you still got to drive it, bud. And also, guys, make sure you check out the CCM T95 Truggy. It's also on console now as well. Really, really fun setup. Also, please tell me you got the K10 shop truck. I know I don't have to ask you if you got it or not, yes, but I, I was gonna play. I was gonna say, please tell me you got it. <laughs> yeah. So there's updates to Limes F450 as well, which I know you probably got the updated version of that. But let's see. It should have automatically updated. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he updated it yesterday at about like two something in the afternoon. Um. Let's see. Hmm. I seen it in the mod.io chat, and the guy that said it is trustworthy, but I can't remember his name, but I believe he's right. Well, we'll see. I, I, like, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna call, like, full on on that until we get a, like, a dev statement about it. But it's really cool, um, to see what that's, uh, what that's about. And let's see. <laughs> Thanks, Joker Lab. I appreciate it. All right, so we're definitely going to check out the Badlands 2 remake because I definitely know that that's going to make its way to consoles at some point later on down the line um, as long as it can fit the memory restrictions. But also, guys, as far as new console mods go, make sure you check out the IV K100A. It's a great highway truck, and it's a really well-balanced truck. Also, check out the T95 Truggy. Check out Jeep's Trails, which is an awesome trail riding map. Check out the... Let's see, where is it? There we go. The r, &R 8000 series. Check that thing out. And as far as the Peterman goes, I'm actually going to have to unsub it and resub it again. I don't know why I've been having... I've been having a lot of issues with the Peterman auto uh, auto unsubbing itself, Diesel. I, again, I don't know why. It's that's actually... I think that's like the new update system for Mod.io because I've had to do that with every single mod since like a week or two ago. Oh my god. That's wild. Yeah. And Jonathan yeah. Ramirez, oh. to answer that question, uh, one second, to answer your question, um, if you're subscribed to a mod and it gets taken off of the multiplayer like storefront because it got updated, um, it will still stay in your uh, subscribed mods. It'll stay on your console until you personally get rid of it. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, exactly, Carson Ford. Let's see. I have the ORG350 subscribed. I just don't see it in the scouts. Uh, it's in there somewhere, and it should be in there if you are subscribed to it. So what's up, Diesel? Uh, the other thing you'll probably want to pick up is... Let me see it. I gotta get the name for it. Okay. Pogrom's Universal Add-on Collection. Dude, I literally that, uh... was hovering right over that. I was literally hovering right over that. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, it is worth it because, you know, the little mini cranes, yes. which can't even lift like the F-750. Yeah. This thing can pick it up like it's not even there. That's hilarious. Steve Dog, Dog uh, Joker Laugh, and Garrett Drake, and Mastermind, what's going on, you guys? I see you out there in the chat. One of the new console mods. Once again, we'll be going through all of those as we go through the stream. But to go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a refresher, we have the r, &R 8000 series. We have Dangerous Territories. We have the Delta Hercules, which is a Kenworth semi-truck. We have Jeep's Trails, which is a new map. We have Maze Runner, which is literally a maze challenge. Got the Delta semi-trailers, the CCM KJ-68. 
IVK 100A, BA 10, CCM T95 Truggy, Silver Arrows, um, basically the Silver Arrows UMG, which is a, uh, what is it, a Unimog, almost a G-Wagon, but it's a Unimog, and then you also have Risky's Powerhouse, along with, of course, BB's Mud Trucks. So, let's go ahead and dive into a lot of these new console-friendly mods that are coming soon, like, for example, oh, thank you, Ryan Miller, I really appreciate that. But yeah, um, we have these console-friendly mods that are coming soon, like, for example, Pogrim's Universal Add-on Collection, the Peterman 3790, which is, again, a console-friendly Peterbilt. And let's go ahead and fire up into our highway hauling save, and we'll use that for a little bit. We'll check it out. We'll try it out. I also have a full highlight video coming on that truck soon. But we'll also get the chance to use a couple of other vehicles that I haven't really checked out all that much yet. Like, for example... Bartleby's Phase 4 U.S. trucks, which I'm sure are going to be hilarious to use. So, let's see. Brody, what's going on, man? And how much RAM does my PC have? Uh, 32 gigs of RAM? All right, Diesel. So, let me go back into my uh, subscribe only. And do you have the Prestige Sentry? I know it's a yes, weird one, but let's see. Bethany Harrison, in the picture on Badlands, it looks like a horse. You should go back and see it, please. Uh, it looks like a horse? You mean, like, the outline of a horse? I guess it kind of does if you look at it like from the like topographical view. I don't know if like if topographical is like the, the way you would actually like say that, but let's see. Also, do you have the do you have the updated version of the Glitchworks 1500 replacement? <laughs> ah. Um, let me double check that real quick. Okay, cuz if you don't, that's completely fine. But real quick, I'm going to go ahead and actually load into my um, my highway hall save. And we're going to check a couple of things. And let's see. Uh, wait. Why they make it where you can't do geological exploration? I don't know. Uh, I don't, I, I, I don't know what you're getting at with that one. By the way, you guys, thank you so much for blowing through that 400 people mark out here on the stream. I genuinely appreciate it, you guys. And if you are new to the channel or if you're new to the stream, thank you so much for stopping by. Or if you've been here for a super long time and are just kind of hanging out, chilling out. I really, really appreciate that as well. Now, if you're here for the new console mods, make sure you check out the r, &R 8000 series. Make sure you also check out the new map called Jeep's Trails, which is a fully off-road trail riding dedicated map. Make sure you also check out the Kenworth W990, which is effectively, effectively, it's not actually called the W990 on this save, but the Peterman is a console-friendly Peter built. And let's see... Uh, finally using the Glitchworks 1500. Also, howdy! What's up, Banana? What's up, Drew? I see you out there in the chat. You're my go-to for snow. Runner. Thank you, Daniel. I really appreciate that. That's legit, man. So, this is the Peterman, which we'll be getting into in a little bit. But the Peterman, I've already got a full, like, you know, a full in-depth video coming on that very soon. But, yeah, Return of the Banana. Exactly. Bryson and Jacob and John, what's going on, you guys, out there in the chat? So, Limes F450 has gotten quite the update, my dudes. And we also have a very interesting video coming on this thing later on today because this rig, this rig is going live when the video goes live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today or pretty close to that. Limes will be making this truck public and you'll be able to get your hands on it yourselves. And there's so many new customization options, it's not even funny. Now, I do want to go into the garage real quick and just check in on... A certain car that uh, I don't know why it was created for this game, but I'm going to check it out anyway. Um, I'm going to check it out anyway and see what it's about. Now, apparently, they thought it would be a good idea to make a console-friendly version of a Buick Century. No clue why. Um, apparently, you could put a modified v8 for serious boogie in it <laughs> i don't know what that's all about i don't know what that's supposed to mean but cynical gamer and maverick Gutter, what is going on out there in the chat vincent what is good and i did by the air it was freaking wild charles what's up man and let's see i got some mud tires from bb for the peel so i guess i'm going mud truck boy that's gonna be nuts that is gonna be freaking wild jbe raised suspension man this thing could have 35s on it i am so down for that oh my god no, no, it can have the quasi-single mud tires. Oh, this is so bad. 
So bad, but so good. Let's see. Tori Kelly with that $2 super chat. Can you tell Diesel Addict I said hello? Dude, yeah, for sure, man. And thank you so much for that $2 super chat. Also, you guys just blew through that 200 likes mark out here on the stream. And we are creeping up on 500 people out here already. Oh, nearly 500 people as I read this. So let's actually see if I take the hood off. What's under the... Oh, yes. Snorkel, backseat supplies, and trunk supplies because I'm going to need those. You could pull trailers with it, apparently. Oh my god, this thing is silly. Oh my god. When this comes to consoles, people are absolutely going to lose it. There are going to be a lot of people that are going to go, Why the heck did you bring that to consoles and why is it here? But I got to tell you, I ain't mad about it. I ain't mad about it. What? But you can put beans on the dash. What? What even is this? What even is this? Wow. Um, I mean, it's not exactly the highest. Though the steering wheel works, though. It's not exactly the highest, like, like, model quality in the world. But I don't really feel like that necessarily matters. But, like, yeah, I was going to say, I don't feel like that necessarily matters when you're driving literally a freaking Buick Century. Uh, and let's see. This is my type of vehicle, says Banana. Exactly. Exactly, Aria, exactly. By the way, you guys, thank you so much for over 500 of you out here on the stream right now. If you're just joining us, thank you so much for dropping by today. We are going to be talking about the latest console mods that have been released, as well as new mods that are a work in progress, but will be on consoles very, very soon. So, we're actually heading up to my house right now. We're crawling up the rocks in my front yard. And how's your update going, Diesel? Uh, my update's fine, but... I'm sh I'm pretty sure I have the, uh, the newest... Glitchworks 1500 replacement, but I can't find it. You can't find it? I can't find... Yeah, I can't find the folder where it is to check. Oh, Oops. um, go into, uh, go into your, like, just the folder where all of your mods are held and just type in 450 and it'll find it and then just open file location. What the? <laughs> no, you're, no, it's fine. You're good. All right, let's go ahead and just do a little bit of a... Let's get to go back to the main menu real quick because I'm going to also show you what is going on, Corbin and Owen and Christopher. And let's see, Hayden, what's up out there, you guys? Did I freeze the game? Okay, no. Okay, you ever have those moments when you're like, like your heart drops and you're like, I froze the game. And we've got somebody out there in the chat in all caps saying, it is not on console yet. And I'm like, yes. So... In this stream, we're going to be using mods that are both on console and mods that are not quite on consoles yet, but still have to be approved. What's going on, Keon, Todd, and RJ, and, or Raj, I guess, and Calvin, and Charlie, and Joshua? What is up, my dudes? And it, it, what, Freedom? What? Okay. And Brandon Riddle, you better believe I do. One of the moderators could post that out in the chat. And what's your question, Charles? Real quick, while you do that, we're actually going to go ahead and load up into... Uh, into 445665 and hope and pray that it's stadium because we have some vehicles that need to be raced need to be raced on stadium I just need to make sure that this is actual stadium does Lime's truck come to consoles tonight it, it releases on PC today at around 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time also when my reveal video goes live and then after it releases he will be starting work on the console friendly version known as the 2017 L400 as opposed to the 2017 F450 so make sure you guys keep an eye out for that and uh, not only keep an eye out for it but when it drops pick it up because it's gonna be legit Legit. Also, we're out here, and I was actually, I guessed right. I'm, I'm so proud of myself. I guessed right. Okay, so storage. Selling that, because you guys haven't seen that yet, but you will soon. Now, let me just go ahead and make sure that we have a default truck to go ahead and retain. And by the way, Diesel, if you don't have the updated version of that one truck, we don't have to use it. You know what I mean? Well, it actually just finished downloading. I should be ready here in a minute. Boy, all right. So, storage. And I've got just a base, basic um, 1500 ready to load in to the stadium. We're going to start out on stadium, and then we're going to progress into a couple of other environments that you guys, I'm sure, know and love. And let's see. Oh, thank you so much, Devin. I really appreciate that. And Joker Laugh, I do. One of the moderators can throw the link to it out there in the chat. And let's see. Testing doesn't go that fast. You never know, Carson Ford. I've seen some vehicles get uploaded and then get approved same day. It's very rare, but it does sometimes happen. 
So I'm going to go back into my mod browser and I'm going to go ahead and also just check my enabled mods list and make sure that you have everything. Let me ask you a quick question about the, do you have the MK63, that, that, uh, G-Wagon 6x6? I like it. Yeah, what? I got that one. Got that? Yeah, I got it. Okay. And let's see. IV K100A, uh, CCM JC84. Uh, he renamed them, so I'm not sure of that one. The JC. Oh yeah, I have that one. That's the the Manchi. Well, the Manchi body. Yeah. Got um, it. and let's see. Shop truck asked you about that. Powerhouse L400 63 Mega, and let's see. Corr, we've got that. I'm turning off, turning off the Blitzo. Um, and then we'll do the. 990 the mud cat i'll tell you what i'll tell you what why don't you just go ahead and try mm -hmm. to try to join and we'll see what happens instead of just reading everything off um we'll just like try to bring you in and i guess if we do our normal strategy what's going on garrett and mike and corby i see you guys out there in the chat but yeah once again if it brings you in it'll tell you like hey you don't have xyz you need to turn it on or if you have it it'll turn it on for you you know what i mean and Bunk says TC is Country Farm's coming to consoles. Country Farm is a weird one because a bunch of people blamed game crashes on Country Farm when it was actually due to an update that uh, was in the game code. It wasn't Country Farm's fault, but it was one of those things where uh, he actually privated the map because a bunch of people were literally like lobbing a bunch of complaints at the guy and like filing complaints about his mod and being like, oh, this map causes game crashes. And when it actually didn't, which was really sad, I talked to the guy, but hopefully he brings it back pretty soon king maldonado says in all caps <clears throat> any new console mods and so to answer that question <laughs> you might want to check out the rnr 8000 series and also the new delta semi truck which is based on a kenworth w990 also check out the new toyota truggy as well as multiple new maps including jeeps trails and also check out the powerhouse the powerhouse is freaking legit so are you gonna uh, just join straight off my name i suppose yeah, I'll be doing that in just a second because the money glitch and everything, I'm trying to make sure I have enough for all the toys. Yes. So, and also, I believe that you could also try... We have that task in here. So, um, or at least the task that allows for a... Like, allows for max level and max rank. Thank you, Owen and uh, Lee Turner, or Il Turner. James, what's up, dude? Thank you so much for stopping by. Quasi-single mud tires, definitely in 35 and bruh all right offline winch i guess for now um i'm gonna take the hood off trunk supplies actually no i don't need those i don't need well yeah you know what i'll take them just to try to keep everything a little bit more um oh, i'll do the searchlight i'll do the searchlight patrol spec literally like oh my god why did he not make i mean he, got, he had a, a push bar why did he not add like a full-on um like patrol car light bar up top i'm like boy you should have <laughs> um let's see run in blue definitely throwing mr beans on the dash oh this is brilliant this is freaking brilliant amy says when is highway hauling coming to consoles and also someone also said uh let's see just restarted my console to see if the 350 will be there uh it's not there at the moment i don't think but there's also the new Kenny. Yeah, so the Kenny is a beast. The Kenny you guys definitely need to check out. And we'll be diving into the Kenny a little bit more soon. But we're currently waiting for Diesel Addict to jump into our multiplayer scenario. Hopefully he can jump back in. And uh, we'll race this Buick against him. Although the Buick is probably one of the weirdest mods to come into this game yet. So I'm going to see if it can clear the main jump for the track. While we wait to see if he, if he can load in. Now, let's see. When will the Peterbilt 37... Or the... Yeah, Peterbilt 3790 be on consoles. Um, we don't know exactly when. Uh, the devs decide when those things happen. But hopefully it makes it through testing with no issues. And let's see. Um, whoop. Is this on consoles? This one, not yet. But yeah, exactly, Grievance Sage. It does look like a Frankenstein build from North Carolina or Tennessee. But uh, how's that process going, my dude? Uh, so far, it looks like we're going to have to do a game restart. So oh, really? Yep. Boom. Yeah, this thing could clear the... Dude, th they designed this for this racetrack. They had to have... Oh, they also decided to go backwards. It's very good at going backwards. That's for dang sure. All right, storage. I'm actually going to sell that. Deploy my Chevy. We're going to go back to the main menu. And let's see. 
Caprice go burr, sup. It's, it actually, so it looks like a Caprice, but it isn't. It's actually a Buick Century with like, ah, uh, it, it, like with Caprice like bits on it. It's very strange, but I'm going to go ahead and we'll do a very quick restart and Diesel's going to do a quick restart as well. And we're doing that just to make sure that everything goes solid and smooth with the game and we don't have any crashes because we tried to do it. And hi, what's with the early stream? Scotty Gibbs, we are jumping into the stream a little bit early today because we have a uh, we have a couple of things we have to do this afternoon. The S2000 actually needs to get some work done this afternoon and I wouldn't be able to make it to the shop in time if we started at noon as opposed to starting at 11 today. I wonder what mods we'll get tomorrow. Bro, I'm hoping for the Peterman. I'm hoping for a bunch of other trucks. I'm really hoping that we get a lot of good mods tomorrow as well because they're on a roll right now. Oh my god. So, you know what's weird? So, fun thing. So, this coffee, right? It just looks like a black iced coffee, which is what I ordered. But, like, there's, there's something in there. I don't know what it is, but there's something in there. It's like a... It's like they put caramel in it or something. I have no idea why. I, I I ordered a black iced coffee. They're like, here you go. I walked out and I like started drinking it. I was like, whoa, this is different. All right, so we've got that set to go. I'm going to go ahead and jump into that multiplayer session, Diesel, and let's see what we can do. I'm loading up Stadium Super Trucks right now. We should be good to go. All right. I'm waiting on my end, and as soon as you're loaded in, let me know, and I'll see if I can join. Yep, we're loading up real quick. Groovy says, TC, what are you doing to our S2000? Um, so, with that being said and done and described and all that good stuff, the S2000 needs a little bit of, like, pre, uh, pre-track day maintenance, pre-track season maintenance, because I have a event at Road Atlanta with it later this month, and um, it needs needs a few things. It needs a it needs an oil change. It needs a couple of other uh, couple of other fluid changes. I'm gonna look at the um, I'm gonna look at the uh, the gear oil as well while I'm there. Brake fluid, clutch fluid, all that good stuff, just to make sure that I don't run into any silly issues at the track because I like forgot to change a certain fluid or something. You know what I mean? All right, so we are in multiplayer. Oh, once again. Max Rob. Hey, <laughs> all right, we're in multiplayer <laughs> once again. Let's see what happens this time. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm hoping it's going to work. But um, if it doesn't work this time, we'll do our normal strategy of strategic mod disabling. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and it looks like it might be loading. I'm going to give it a minute. Hey. It says connection lost. Connection it says connection lost. lost. So. But, oh, great. What do you mean? Oh, great. Yeah, it kicked me back to the main menu, but now it's saying my NAT type is strict, so one oh, second. Oh, God. I don't know why yeah, it does I'll that just... to you. I don't know either. I'm just going to go through and restart the uh, Epic Games and everything and see if that helps. Yeah, I mean, the, the whole NAT type issue is is such a weird one. South Star, any new console mods? Heck yeah, there are. The R&R &R 8000 series is here, along with a bunch of other vehicles. We just, dude, you guys just blew through over 600 people out here on the stream right now. Thank you so much. If you were just joining us today, I genuinely appreciate you guys stopping by. We're going to uh, mess with a couple of different things right now. We're currently building a F450 but there's a lot of different things that we're going to be able to do, not only with this F450, but with another F450 that has a full console-friendly variant on its way very, very soon. Now, the roll bar is not going in. Um, the headlights are going to be white. The Vicowl I'm good on. I don't really need that. But with the custom rear bumper and the amount of freaking wheel options. Good God. Good <laughs> God. Let's see. Also, I'm going to unsub and resub to Lime's F450 just to make sure that all it, that's squared yeah. away. Yeah, that could be another uh, another cause of an issue. But let's see. Get a giant lifted vehicle. Uh, well, that is exactly what we are in the process of doing. So that right there, that is Frog's F450. We're going to let it chill right there. And there's been some updates to Lime's F450. Lime's F450 has gone from the spec that you saw it in before to something now that is completely and entirely wild. We have a full video coming later on today on what this thing has become in a full, like, in-depth look. But the thing is, 
This thing, uh, Seltzer, I think you already asked that. I think you, I'm pretty sure you already asked that. You love the Buick? Dude, the Buick is going to be freaking hilarious. Yo, no worries, James Watson. Thank you so much. Dude, that means so much to me. Wow, that's wild, bro. What are the best crawler mods? Well, the crawler mods, hmm. Crawler mods, I would say it's all down to personal choice. But let's see. Short lift. I think I'm going to do, we'll do short lift so yeah. you guys can see the, uh, so you guys can see the new dually setups because they are ridiculous. Absolutely just silly. And dubs freaking boggers. Dubs freaking dually boggers on this thing with, with, and look at these things. Look at the size of that stack. Now, once again, we're going to go over this in the video a little bit later on today at 5 p.m. EST when it goes live, but that is a gigantic 45 degree angle stack. Limes calls it the big swanky. I call it a bent trash can. Um, <laughs> but uh, either way, you could also have a hood stack. You could have a single. You could have like an axle dump still. You can have literally just about whatever you want. I'm going to throw the giant one in there just for like the lols. And we're going to throw some rock lights on it too. We're going to throw some steps on it. And I'm also going to put the limes grill. Now, this is what is going to be the, I'm sure, the console-friendly grill. But um, Owen says, that stack is small. And I'm like, bruh. Let's see. Hi, DC. I downloaded the R&R &R Warrior um, and some sort of tank thing. It's going well in my campaign. Heck yeah, dude. And let's see. I just started playing this week with the Xbox Game Pass. Um, and I own the Year 2 Season Pass. Are there any of Year 1 DLC that I must have? What would you say to that one, Diesel? Like, if if we were to say, like, if you were to get one, you know, like, one round or one phase of fa of the Phase 1 DLC, what would you end up going for? I would steer clear of Imandra, and I would probably go Yeah, Imandra's Wisconsin. phase... Imandra is phase, I believe, one, right? Yeah, that was phase one. Phase two was the Yukon. Phase two, and I loved. That one was it was fun, hard. Honestly. Like, it was hard, but I loved yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and then I would say... I would say, like, get either phase two or phase four. Um, Yukon or Wisconsin, depending on what kind of play style you like. So, I don't know, boys. I mean, Frog's F450 is legit, but look at Lime's freaking F450. This thing is silly. This thing is so si oh my god what <laughs> yo when this comes to consoles console players are gonna freaking lose it oh my god this with the max tune look what it does through the mud even in dually form it's freaking wheeling through the mud now granted this is with like the max you know max power tune and max speed transmission but still oh my god Oh my god. Let's see, I may or may not have driven the Bertha across Lake Cove. I mean, I get it, though. I get why you would. I can't fault you for it, you know what I mean? I mean, I drove Monstrosity out to the oil rig in Alaska and climbed it. Did you really? <laughs> I never saw you <laughs> do that. What? <laughs> oh my the god, that's freaking hilarious. By the way, you guys you guys blew through the 300 likes on the stream. Like, that was freaking awesome. Like, I didn't even realize. You guys are the best. Holy smokes, y'all. And you guys also just blew through 650 people out here. If you're just joining us today, first of all, thank you so much for stopping by. And secondly, if you're just joining us, I want to say how much I genuinely appreciate you guys being out here. Like, you guys are freaking amazing. So, while we wait for Diesel Addict to see if he can actually get that, um that connection issue sorted we're gonna do a quick challenge and what might this quick challenge be you ask well something is about to get loaded up onto that trailer it's gonna be some f450 on f450 action i'm also gonna see if we could balance this thing across the way let's see Maverick is like, you can tell that Maverick is all about Fords because he's like, I like this Ford in all caps. All right, let's see. Oh! Oh! Uh, wait. Oh, no! Oh, Diesel, we got a problem. Oh, we got a problem. Oh. Renee, what is going on Ooh. out there? I think I see it on the stream. No, uh, no vehicles. 
everything oh, is, no. everything despawned. Everything despawned. What did we do to fix this when we ran into it last time? Uh, I really don't remember. Because it was like, it was one of those things where, let me go ahead and load back in in single player. Because single player, it, it was weird. Some of it came over and some of them did not come over. Let's see. Well, let's see. Um, I have Wi-Fi and I can't afford it anymore. Uh, will I still have mods to play with without Wi-Fi? Please read this. So, um, basically, basically, you'll be able to use whatever you have downloaded, I believe. And JS18, <laughs> why did they get rid of the ORG350 on consoles? They didn't get rid of it. It just got updated. So, it got an update and it just has to be reapproved, which it should be reapproved very, very, very soon. Uh, what were you saying, Diesel? I was uh, just confirming that I think he can use the... Uh... Use mods offline. Yeah. So, I'm outside now with the, um, oh god, the CK-1500. So, we're okay there. Let me retain that and go back to the main menu. And then I'm gonna go and, let's see, that respawn thing happens in the summer test track map sometimes. Garage eats trucks sometimes. Yeah, but we were outside the garage. So, I'm gonna actually, like, heavily simplify my mods list, Diesel. And yeah. I'm going to turn things like the Bertha off. I'm going to turn the 6x6 AMG off. I'm going to turn... Let's see. So, I'm going to also turn off the Starship F450. We don't need that. And I'm going to turn off the... We've got the Kenworth W990. Do you have that, right? The, the, the no, PC I don't. version of... Oh! I have. Oh, excuse me. The PC version. I do have that one. I don't have the... Uh console version okay well the console version doesn't work on pc so <laughs> i mean <laughs> there is that yeah so we've got a couple of ccm trucks like the charger i'll go ahead and turn off the charger i'll turn off the brulee for now and i'll leave the race truck on and then i've just got the yeet mobile the k30 ultimate the 3880 and that's about it so now i'm gonna load into our highway hauling playthrough and i'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of a hey what's up Austinator? Uh, early stream heck yeah buddy Heck yeah, my, my dude. So the reason why we're doing a um, an early stream today is because of the fact that I actually have some work getting done on the S2000 a little bit later. I might be trying to order new wheels for it today. I don't know. It depends on whether or not the... Uh, depends on whether or not, like, the wheel guy is there, but, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see. And it also depends on whether or not I can decide. <laughs> but let's see. Banana 101 says, Berlay is life, and Grievance Station says, I drive Optimus Prime for forever. Hey, I mean, nothing wrong with that. And also, I have a very important question. Do you know when the mod map money glitch will be fixed? Okay, so mod creators need to update their maps with the latest code before it will um, before it will register that change. And all right, Devin, we will see what we get back, my dude. All right, let me recover this guy. And I'm going to sell a few things in my... Okay, so I'm going to sell the Buick. And then I'm going to go back to... So there's the Peterman. The Peterman, I'm going to actually detach and delete that that trailer i'm gonna sell the peterman i'm gonna make it as basically i'm gonna make it as easy as possible for diesel to join because that way i feel like we should be able to give each other like the best chance of nothing going wrong you know so got that done limes f450 uh recover got that done and then the dually 3500 got that recovered and storage sell sell and sell okay so now i just have the ford clt 9000 and other than that i mean i have a ck 1500 a scout 800 i'm gonna recover the scout i mean just to have it uh just to have it and recover it so i have a scout and a ck 1500 and oh 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 i did a dummy um i have a couple of uh reds goosenecks throughout the map but i don't think that'll cause a problem i would hope that wouldn't cause a problem and, like, if it did, yeah. that would be very telling of, like, a bunch of other issues that are not, like, being solved. Um, but, Kevin, yeah. what is going on, my dude? And, let's see, Jonas, what's up, man? Hello, are you playing on Xbox? So, we're actually playing on, um, we're actually playing on PC at the moment, but we're also going to be using a lot of mods that have recently been released on consoles. So, I'm going to go ahead and start up a co-op game, and do you want me to just, for, like, for, like, uh, 
Let's see. Ooh, can you post some RCW IRL page on Discord? Whoa, that'd be really cool. Or can I post? Yeah, man, absolutely. Absolutely, you could post RC stuff in there. Uh, Renee, what's up? Kyler and Nick, what's going on, my dudes? So, uh, you want me to do a real quick game restart, Diesel, just to be safe? Um, I guess we can. Do you know offhand which number the, uh, uh, what's it called? Highway Hauling? Yeah. Highway Hauling is 921510. Okay. You got I it? see. Yeah, I got it. And actually, I think I'm just going to go and start a new, a uh, new, com excuse me. A new instance. A completely, yeah. Yeah, that's the word. Instance and be I, the word. <laughs> <laughs> a completely new instance because I think I also left a ton of different mods on. So, oopsie. Oh, oopsie. All right. Hugo and Yederson and Jessica, what's going on, you guys? Also, I think the best strategy for us would be to just, like, have you disable everything and, um, have you disable everything and then just have the game turn on, uh, the mods that it thinks it should turn on. That seems to be the most stable. Yeah. I'm gonna try and do this without having to do another restart because I did do a restart and we should be okay. You know what I mean? We should be okay. And, all right, David, yeah. we will see you when you get back at 12.15, my dude. Yo, you guys are you guys are knocking on the door of 700 people out here on the stream right now, and you're knocking on the door of, like, the 400 likes mark. About to freaking blow through it. You guys are absolute beasts. Absolute freaking animals, guys. Sarah J, and let's see. Uh, Chomley, what's going on, dude? And let's see. How do you get so much storage to bring cars into the game? Um, well, on the PC version, you have basically unlimited storage. It's pretty much as much as your um, PC can handle. And Highway Hauling will be on console soon, hopefully. Uh, very, very hopefully. New console mods, uh, Ricky, to answer that question, yo, you guys blew through that 400 likes mark, thank you so much, but new console mods as of today are the R&R &R, uh, 8000 series, a new map called Jeep's Trails, the Toyota Truggy, which you should definitely check out, um, the Kenworth W990, and of course it's console trim, and you guys should definitely, like I said, check out all of those, they're freaking amazing. So, what up, Abdul, I see you out there in the chat, and Austin, what is going on at Trucks Fun, I see you out there as well. All right, so we're in our multiplayer instance right now, Diesel, and I am going to attempt to purchase a mod truck, drive outside of the garage, and uh, see if I can, like, see if I can just kind of drive around and hang out without anything going wrong or despawning, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, fun fact. <laughs> fun apparently... fact. Apparently, my game decided it didn't want it to stay subscribed to Highway Holland. Oh! Well, that makes sense. Yeah, it, it, it unsubscribed me from it. That's so weird. I wonder if... But I still had... Go ahead. I still have Stadium and pretty much all my other maps. So... I'm not sure what exactly happened there. Do you think it updated itself? And Brandon and Garrett and White, what's going on, my dude? And Jake says the ORG 350 is gone. I'm sad. So once again, the ORG 350 is not gone. It just had an update, and it'll be coming back soon. Okay? Yeah, it, it'll be it'll be coming back soon. Don't worry about it. it. It's it's on its way. It's on its way. But yeah, I'm really hoping yeah. that we didn't you know we didn't screw up some kind of like. Uh, like file name you know what i mean yeah hmm did it well, that is did it turn it off or did it completely unsub you it completely unsubbed me i searched through subscribe mods and couldn't find it at all wow that is awful that is so bad like that is seriously yeah, so bad yeah, it's currently uh, re-downloading, but I don't know how much longer that's going to take. Yeah, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my single-player save, and I have verified, by the way, I have verified that trucks are not despawning on this map right now, which is good. It's good. It's yeah. a very, very, very good thing. One of those new trucks has a toolbox that says, don't worry about it. It's the ORG 350. Mm -hmm. I worked with him on that. It's it was, a, it was a really fun thing, actually. I'm really glad he did that. It was super cool. So <laughs> I'm actually going to unsub and resub Highway Hauling as well because I feel like if it did something to you, there's a chance 
that it might have done something to me as well. So I I'm gonna just I'm just gonna do it. Highway hauling, because I know it'll literally take like two seconds for me to re-download it. Um, and K1460, so I heard about that. And let's see, uh, Big Dubs, I think what happened was that I pushed another update the other day, and that caused it to go into recheck. Sorry, guys. Oh, Dubs is in here. So Dubs literally just explained why the ORG350 is gone. It's because he pushed an update, and it needs to go back through testing again. But thankfully, rechecks always get pushed to the front of the line, so you guys will be seeing that truck again very, very soon, okay? And I've actually got it right here. Great rig. Great update, by the way. The update, I think, was, like, just a couple of little, like, a couple of little iffy features that he wanted to make sure were, uh, were okay. But let's see. Chief, it's Samuel and Thomas. What's going on? Servers. We need servers. Bro, I'll tell you something. Like, 20-player servers in freaking SnowRunner would be nuts. Also, by the way, Diesel, while we are here, yeah. I'm going to see if I can... Hey! I wonder... If I wonder if the streamer edition of um of Pixel's new map, since it's a uh, Samuel and Thomas, what's good, you guys? But I wonder if since it's like a new map, I wonder if he's updated the code to give you max money again within the Phase Four framework. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay, I see. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna load in and check it, but uh, like obviously, of course, while you're you're redownloading Highway Holland, but let's see what this is about and also there could be like let's see you don't need the map or any other mods on um you don't want to use switch to on if you aren't the host you only need them downloaded yeah that's what that's what we're talking about radon yeah or radon that's what we're talking about mm -hmm. so hey we're spawning in right at the racetrack here oh this is sick this is freaking sick dude all right, I'm going to have a default vehicle here just in case. Like, just in case we want to load into some multiplayer, I'm going to have a default vehicle retained. But let me grab this, like, twin turbo K10 monster. Now, we're going to grab the pin it to win it 1400 horsepower tune. Um, the race spec Speedy Gonzalez transmission. And it's literally called that. It's literally called that in the menu. I didn't make that up. And let's see. Uh, you can still use it if you have it downloaded. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Um, but the latest version just needs to pass recheck once again. Yup. And let's see. Trail Runner spec. And let's see. Ooh, King of the Hammer spec for sure. And Pitbull Rocker. Uh, BFG Crawler, definitely. And we'll take that. It's always on right now. And Shorty Toe Hitch, don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and just build this little guy up real quick. It's a super fun little truck. And... I'm going to go ahead and take this off. This will reveal... This will reveal an engine that you guys never expected. You ready to see that twin turbo LS? You ready to see all of those... All of those screaming bald eagles? There they are. That, my friends, is probably the sickest looking engine bay in this entire game. Ever. Now, I have a full highlight video on this truck coming very soon. But I just... I cannot get over how sick that setup on that engine is. It's just so incredibly cool. It's so incredibly cool. And I love the speed shop design. The speed shop design is like, <laughs> it's so freaking legit. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure when uh, my decision. I'm not completely sure. Murica baby. Exactly. Um, let's see. The ORG is not gone for me, uh, but we just moved in a new house, so we don't have Wi-Fi. Exactly. So, basically, the ORG is just going through, um, console recheck right now because he pushed an update for it. But it'll be back very, very, very soon. Like, very, very, very soon. So, I actually want to do a... Intro oh, that looks so good. It's like a burnt orange two-tone with the white. Oh, this is so sick. This is so sick. And like I said, I you know, gush on and on about it, but, like, look at it with this racetrack here. This place was, or I should say, this is the streamer edition of a map that was a huge deal back in Mud Runner. and you want to talk about a place where you can go nuts with a race truck? This is that map. I maybe should have gotten the 750 horsepower tune and not the 1400 horsepower! Oh! Oh my god! So on the first jump, I, I, I may or may not have probably torn a turbo off, but... Whoa! 
Okay, I, I think I need to, um, I think I need to put the 750 horsepower engine in it because that might be a little bit more manageable. Is that map coming to consoles? Absolutely. That truck is ripped. Is it really? Let's see. Risky is in the chat claiming this is a stolen truck. I don't know if it is or not. Um, let's see. He says tone it down a bit. Yeah, we'll tone down the power for sure. Uh, Diesel, do you know anything about that? Uh, there has been a little bit of controversy surrounding the origins of that model. Is it the model itself, or is it the whole truck? The model itself. That's uh, that's what the con the controversy is around. Gotcha. Okay. Now, I was not aware that there was anything like that going on around that truck. And let's see. The model... Dub says the model is ripped out of a mobile game, apparently. And that's kind of an odd one. Um... That's not one I've dealt with before. It seems oddly high quality for a, like, a mobile rip, but, like, I don't know. I mean, maybe they just, I don't know if they baked a bunch of new textures into it or if they, like, tried to cover their tracks or something, but um, somebody said CSR2, like, stolen CSR2 model. I'm, I'm hoping not, but since there's multiple people saying it is, I might, uh... I might have to go with the fact that it might be. Oh, yeah, Dub said CSR2, CSR2, CSR... Okay, yeah. A lot of people, uh... But somebody in the chat said stolen from Offered Outlaws, and I know it's not... I know it's not stolen from Offered Outlaws. The sad thing is, it drives well. You know what I mean? Like, I yeah. don't like the fact that it's, like... They retextured a stolen model. Oh, my... That's such a, like, really, bruh kind of moment, you know what I mean? I'm like, really? Really, bruh? Really? Okay. Well, and eh, let's see. But we all helped him in the IX server uh, because he wanted help and he never showed the truck itself. We all hope that it was an honest mistake. Oh, so the guy never... So he told y'all what he wanted, but he didn't tell you what model he was working with. Oh. I'm not going to get into specifics because I feel like that could lead into some other things that I don't really want to go into. But... Let's just hope that everything is, um, what do you want to say? Like, juju, kosher, I guess. I don't know. Uh, whatever you want to, however you want to say it, but, oh boy. Well, I guess I'm selling this thing after a lap. It's a shame because it's a nice truck. It's, it's a real shame because it's a nice truck. I, I don't know how to, I don't know how else to say that. You know what I mean? Like, it's a shame. But let's see. Whoop, what is going to, oh God. Oh god, oh god. Easy, easy turn. Did your highway haul in redownload, by the way? Uh, yes, it did. And I was actually getting ready to try and join you uh, right here on. I've forgotten the map's name already. Oh, the new Pixel map? Yeah. Yeah, on Pixel's new map. But then uh, the conversation about the truck model's origins got brought up, and I kind of lost track of what I was doing. I get you, I get you. I'm going to go ahead and actually sell it then. And uh, what I could do is I'll actually see, I'm gonna go back to the main menu. All I've got retained right now is a, let's see. Um, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, he's a super cool guy, but I hope he didn't rip it. Yeah, I hope not, I, I hope not. What's up, Delta? I see you out there in the chat. Great job, by the way, on getting the latest semi on consoles. Um, really, really cool to see that thing finally get, like, finally get to shine on everybody's systems, really. The W990 was a beast. And really, the console version is uh, the same beast. It's just, you know, it's the same beast. It's just console friendly. But mad props to you. Great work on that thing. And thanks for stopping by. All right, we're going to go ahead and head into co-op on Badlands 2 Streamer Edition Pixel Monkey Remake. And I know that that's a mouthful. I know there's a lot of things to go over with that. But here's hoping and crossing my fingers and hoping for the freaking best that everything works. We don't know. We don't know. Let's see. Thanks, DC. It's been well-received. Yeah, man. I mean, I, I see why. Like, and I would hope it's been well-received because you have so much time into it, you know? Like, a lot of people don't really realize how much time people like you have into mods like that. And uh, it's a lot, you know? I mean, I don't know off the top of my head how many actual hours it is to put into a mod like that, but 
you know, I I wouldn't be surprised if it was hundreds, you know what I mean? Or well over hundreds of hours. But Mini Moose, new console mods, question mark. By the way, so the new console mods that you guys are going to be working with today is going to be the r, &R 8000 series. You're going to have, uh, like I said, Delta's new semi-truck, which is based on a Kenworth W990. You have a new um, CCM, like, little Toyota Truggy. You also have a older, like, kind of old-school power wagon style truck. A lot of new vehicles, as well as new maps, including Jeep's Trails, which I definitely recommend recommend checking out uh Lynn and Owens at first time ever seeing you live thank you so much for stopping by bro I really appreciate it so I am going to grab my own race truck now that diesel is hopefully on his way in crossing my fingers and hoping for the best and let's see so the thing is I don't know if it's gonna let him have like I don't know if it's gonna let him have all of the uh, all of the vehicles that I have, I'm just really, really, really hoping, um, I'm just really, really hoping that nothing, like, goes wrong, and let me throw some MTs on there, some 35-inch MTs, offline winch, and we'll do the wide body, and I need to get the, uh, the bed topper off, um, I don't really like it on this thing, I think it looks really weird, I, I'm not a big fan of it, but I do like the orange, and I also like the blue. I like really all the colors on this thing. And I also like the fact that we literally have a freaking long travel Comanche race truck. Like, oh, yeah. here we go. I get I get the feeling that the maintenance that was done to Mod.io or the game earlier today may have broken some stuff. So you think by way of uh, doing some maintenance, they unmaintenanced their game? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much, because, you know, this is the type of problem we haven't had in weeks. I know, right? Oh! Oh! I went way too fast! Oh my wow! Oh my god, I went way too fast! Holy smokes, that was bad! Wow! Okay, I am going to not do that. And since it seems actually like he might not be able to have his mods um, on in our multiplayer sessions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on a few mods that you guys haven't actually seen yet, and we're going to have some fun with them. And I'm also going to turn back on a few things that I was worried about causing conflicts. And now, I mean, at this point, we don't really have to worry about that. So we can turn on just a boot, whatever we want. And let me see. I'm going through just making sure we have a few different things that yeah there's highway hauling all right so once we load back into highway hauling now that we have the latest version of highway hauling i mean we're gonna be able to let's see cc beating me to the punch on consoles <laughs> right no man his um his rigs are legit though where'd the org go uh henpen games once again um the creator actually of the org uh whose name is big dubs he's been in here uh explaining that and basically he pushed a new update for it and it had to go into recheck because of the new update um it requires a recheck and basically the reason why it requires a recheck is because of the fact that they need to re-verify that the newest update to a mod doesn't break the game again. You know what I mean? What's the new console mods? Your latest console mods as of today, my dude, are the r, &R 8000 series. You've also got the new map Jeep's Trails. You've also got the console-friendly version of the Kenworth W990 from Iceberg. You've also got the uh, little Toyota Truggy by CCM Fred and multiple other maps and trailer packs as well. Definitely go ahead and sort your mod browser by uh, latest updates to find them all and let's go ahead and yo dale and jay olsen and jaden what's going on you guys thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi now let's grab our let's see let's grab our workforce of rigs and we're gonna be using that uh ooh, ooh. now i haven't looked into uh bartleby's trucks but the ct681 as well as the oh i just realized oh bartleby's uh gmc 8000 this thing Oh, God! The engines list is long. Really, really long. Oh, yeah. Really long. Let me also, go back to the I, truck store as I well. Think I should... Go ahead. I think I should restart my PC because it still keeps kicking me back to the main menu and the occasional uh, problem about math type. So yeah. I'm going to disappear for a few minutes while I do that. Yeah, man, you're good. Uh, You're good. I'll go ahead and, um, like, I'll back out of the VC but leave the chat up so I can go right back in, okay? We'll see you when you get back. All right. All right, guys. 
Now that we're alone, viewers. <laughs> now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and throw a full-on, like, bulletproof heavy toe setup in this thing. We're going to put the toe setup on it. We're going to put the dualies on it. And we're going to build this thing in full toe trim so you guys can see what this thing looks like and how it drives when it's in a full toe-ready setup. So, we're doing a 50-inch swamper toe setup. And we're actually going to run this thing as a... It's kind of weird, but let me actually throw the hood stack on it. I never put the hood stack on it. We're doing the dually fenders. We're doing the we're doing the rocks the rock lights, the steps. We're doing the weighted SMG grill. And as you'll be able to see in a moment, the towing suspension actually accounts for the weight difference between the weighted bumper and the rear of the truck. So it doesn't um, like sag down. Try our gaming. What is going on? Go Razor says, is Highway Holland on consoles? It's not on consoles yet, but hopefully it will be soon. So luckily, since we're in single player right now, hey, we can go ahead and get right back to the afternoon. I don't know if I like this thing with a hood stack. I don't know if a hood stack fits the personality of this truck, you know? It's not exactly the... It's not exactly the hood stack type, you know? Um, I feel like there are other options that suit it a little better. But the crazy part is we're actually, like, so freaking close to finishing highway hauling in its entirety. Um, this transmission is weird. Like, it doesn't really work well off-throttle. This transmission is really freaking weird. All right, I'm going to actually go back to the garage, and I'm just going to throw the Mega Stack in there because the Mega Stack... The Mega Stack makes more sense. Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that make so much more sense? It does to me. You know what I mean? I'm like, bruh. Man, let's see... I can't wait for the next Highway Holland map to release. Dude, me too. So I'm actually going to be working with Remo to show you guys the next map in the Highway Hauling series before it actually goes live. So that's going to be absolutely incredible to be able to show you guys. So I got my full heavy haul set up, built into this thing, and kind of baked into it. And let's see. Blackbird. Blackbird. Let's see. Building a community. That's a lot of crap. Let's see. Metal beams and metal rolls. Wait a minute. Deliver to where? Shopping around unload site one. Wait a second. What trailer is that? Construction trailer. Oh, okay. I know where that is. I was like, why the heck did I not go there to begin with? Can you show the Peter uh, Peterman 3790? Oh, absolutely. That's coming out of the garage momentarily, bro. Moment freaking terrily. Bed sack of the happy stack. Yo, this thing's a Mongo stack. It's a trash can stack in all the best freaking ways. Let's see. Uh, Micro Drop, what is going on, my dude? And it's easy. What video are you going to do next? You're going to have to wait and see, my dude. Make sure you drop by at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also make sure that you have your notifications turned on. So I'm going to actually go up and park this thing at my house so we have a little bit of a central location to use. Easy does it. There we go. God, that thing was like pinned on the front of the, uh, like on the front axle. That is hilarious. There's just pinned breaking on the front axle. And let's see what's going on, Cody. I see you out there in the chat. Bradley says, any new console mods? Heck yeah, man. There's a ton. So check out, uh, go on the console and sort by latest updates. Check out the r, &R 8000 series. Check out Iceberg's new Kenworth semi-truck that's also on consoles. Check out the new Toyota Truggy and also the Jeep's Trails map, among many others that you guys are absolutely going to really enjoy. And also, you guys just blew through that 500 likes mark on the stream. Thank you all so much. Now, let me build up a, let's see, Unreal V8 engine. Oh, dear God. That's like, that's freaking wild. Unreal two-stroke V8. And let's see, 10-speed auto off-road. Active flex, active bouncy. Okay. Uh, let's do active stiff because it's going to be, I mean, it's going to be a, like, a hauling-focused vehicle. So, I'm not really too worried about it having like a bunch of really really crazy tires okay we got access to some tires that i did not anticipate having access to ignore ice tires heck yeah i'm loving those those are sick looking on this thing wow extended offline high powered winch engageable spare wheel round cap with filter engageable all-wheel drive 
Is my A button really sticking? Bruh, I I just bought this control. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's not sticking. I was like, I just bought this. All right, let's see. There's, oh, is that the Pog flatbed? Oh, that's so cool. Wait a minute. Whoa, what about the Pog crane? That's the Bartleby crane. I don't know where the Pog crane is. Um, I'm throwing saddle high on there. And I don't really need to do too much to the front of this thing. But let's see. I'll just keep the stock bumper on there. IX family pack. Definitely throw in my personal. Is that a Supra? Uh, not exactly. Um, I'll tell you one thing. It definitely doesn't have a 2JZ in it. So let me grab some. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And beans on the dash. There we go. Oh, yeah. This is how I love to see this GMC represented. This thing is gnarly. This thing is nuts. Okay, yeah, it's really, really, really fast. Way faster than it needs to be. What is this map? Is it on consoles yet? Uh, this is Highway Holland by Remo, and it is not on consoles just yet, but it should be very soon. I'm loving this truck. This thing is hilarious. Savage and Amanda, what is going on, you guys out there in the chat? Thank you so much for dropping by. I genuinely appreciate it. Backing her up. Dude, we slid that thing right in there. All right, stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Let's see. Delta Supplies trailer. Wide flatbed semi. Log trailer. Delta Transport. Where's the Super Heavy? There's the Super Heavy. Off we go to the Metal Yard. Now, the Metal Yard is going to be a fun place to get in and out of with um, a trailer this large. I'm actually going to take a quick shortcut because... I didn't really feel like taking the main road, ya yeet. Um, big yeet, ya yeet, and uh, we'll just get right through here and everything will be fine and dandy, good to go. If you could, like, find some grip, that'd be just great. And Ryan, what is going on out there? I thought the vanilla GMC was good. I loved the vanilla one. Don't get me wrong, I, uh, I, I love the vanilla one. I just, I'm just playing around with this guy's, um, like, crazy OP variant gonna go ahead and get this uh get this building site done let's see oh god oh god oh god a little caught up there probably shouldn't have done that that way let's see how come canadian runner is not coming back to consoles canadian runner i think was just too intense for a lot of the consoles to handle and it had um a bunch of issues particularly on playstation and that's not me not liking playstation or me like throwing playstation under the bus or something that's just me saying that um I know the map had um, issues on PlayStation specifically. It had issues on all systems, but PlayStation in particular. Lime's up around these dually setups. Well, thankfully for you, Lime's new L400, the 2017 L400, which is in development right now, and hopefully coming to consoles soon, that one is going to have full dually setups. It's actually going to look like this. This one's parked in my house right now. But this is Lime's 2017 L400, which he is going to be uh, basically working on the console version of very soon. And LOL911 says, NOK50 Super Chat, first of all. Thank you so much for that. Hey, from Norway, have you seen the new trailer for Far Cry 6? They have a mini version of the dog you like in the game. Do they have beans? Bro, I gotta check it out. I gotta freaking check it out. But yeah, this is, like I said before, Bartleby's uh, GMC Brigadier 8000. And I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. Let's go! Oh, exactly, Tegan. I think you left foot, Nick. I really appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying yourself. Just gonna try not to get too, uh, too caught up in the wrong, uh, area. Like I did before. Oh, yeah, there we go. Easy, easy, easy. Rep of Masters, freaking wild! Absolutely freaking wild. Is how we howling on consoles yet? Not yet, my dude, but hopefully soon. Now all we gotta do is make our way out to uh, shopping around on load site one. Which basically, all we gotta do, like I said, is we gotta make our way downtown. Once we make our way downtown, we'll be good to go. Uh, now, what is going on, buddy? Thank you so much for stopping by. Is that a Dean Flying V in the background? Yes, sir, it is. It's really old, though. Um, I need to go through and do a bunch of maintenance on it. I haven't played it in a long, well, in a long time. I play the uh, the acoustic a little bit, and the acoustic I just kind of play to relax. But um, but the DNV it needs a lot of maintenance, and I haven't had like I haven't had the chance to do it yet. And it's weird. Like back in the day, I say back in the day, like I'm an old man or something. 
but back when I was playing it regularly, um, which was actually quite a good long time ago, um, back when I was playing it regularly, am I really stuck? Come on! What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on! Travis, buddy, what's going on out there in the chat? I see ya! Come on, there we go. But no, back when I was playing that, uh, that Dean V regularly, I did all of my guitar maintenance myself. And the thing is, I was playing guitar all the time, and I was doing a bunch of, like, you know, guitar maintenance all the time. So I had a really... Oh! I had a really good idea of what I was doing. But now, I'm like, I'm not, you know, quite as confident as I was then with guitar maintenance because, like I said, I haven't done guitar maintenance in a, in a really long time, like, solo. And I mean, like, back then, when I was doing that maintenance myself, I was, like, you know, changing strings all the time, setting the guitar up, setting the action, setting the intonation, you know, messing with the bridge, making sure the spring tension was right. And I knew how to do all that stuff but I just haven't done it in a long time. And so I'm kind of, as, as weird as it sounds, I'm kind of worried to do it. And I don't know why I'm like, I don't know why I'm internally worried to do it. I just don't want to like completely mess it up. But let's see, where's Diesel? Uh, he should be back in a bit. I'm pretty sure he's back online at this point. He wanted to go ahead and actually like restart his whole PC setup. But um, let's see, Ooh, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's gonna get a little floppy back there, but I'm not worried about it. Oh, really? Happy birthday, Latin Owens. What map, uh, what map am I on? I am on Highway Holland, bro. I'm gonna try and just rage my way up this hill. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's not fine. It is, oh, it is far from fine. Oh my God. We are not in a good way, but that's okay. I will be putting us in a good way by way of a tree. And actually, winching to that tree is getting my rear axles to dig into the ground. So let's see, Mason BMX, interesting. Charles says, I have two questions. What are they? Chase, what is going on, my dude? I see you out there in the chat. Let's see, I just realized that I don't have the Storm, uh, Stormer full version. I've only been playing the public test server. Hey, you know what? For a while now, the public test server has been uh, like better. I know that sounds weird, but like I have found the public test version to be better than the live game for the past few weeks. But, um, oh, Buzzy, thank you so much for stopping by, dude, for seven years? Bro, you've been with us for that long? That's incredible, man. Thank you so much. Let's see, Hayden and Alan, sup, my dudes? And Obsidian Zilla, what's going on, my dude? I see you out there in the chat. What happened to Unlimited Money on Mob Maps? Uh, it will be coming back. Uh, the mod creators just need to go ahead and um, uh, add a little bit of a new line of code into their maps. But, oh my god, that is my dream shop right there. Look at that. Look at that thick boy. I don't know how a shop could be thick, but, you know. <laughs> Let's see. What map do you use uh, when you're doing your test truck showcases? Um, that is the Summer Testing Grounds. And you can actually find it very, very easily by just going to your mod browser and, um, and clicking more options, like hitting Y, then clicking Select Map, and you'll be good to go. You will literally find it super easily. So detach trailer, delete trailer, and recover truck. So there we go. That guy has been recovered. Super easy. And now we're going to be moving on to, well, I should say the sale of that truck and the picking up of, where are you? Where are you? Where is the Peterman? There's the Peterman. That building animation is so satisfying. Dude, I freaking know. It is so good. It's so good. Diesel is back. All right, we're going to be getting you back into that BC very, very soon, very momentarily. You missed a call from Diesel Addict. Oh, I feel bad. Uh, hey, what's up, bud? I think. Oh, God. All right, well, we'll see if he, uh, we'll see if his mic gets in in a second. But we got a full video coming on this rig very, very soon. And I got this the is, off. <laughs> ah, you're good, man. This rig is basically the ultimate console friendly Peterbilt. And what's going on, Be uh, Bethany Harrison? I see you out there in the chat. And this thing, like I said, guys, this thing is going to be the freaking best. Y'all are going to love this thing when it drops. And oh, it's, it's so good. It is so freaking good. Y'all are going to be all over this thing. And I just, I 100% I recommend it across the board. So, 
the Shielder Dually. I need to try that. Huh. Autonomous Winch HD Plus. Absolutely. Eh, spare wheel. Thank you. And Twin Tall Wedge Caps. And the EV All-Wheel Drive. So this is really weird. So um, I'm sure, Diesel, I'm sure you played around with the Peterman, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the EV Hybrid All-Wheel Drive System is so weird, but I don't hate it. I love how it actually physically puts an electric motor under the front uh, end of the truck. Yeah. Like, I, I just, I don't know. I love it, that. It's a really unique take on adding all-wheel drive to the trucks. Yeah, and I, for that reason, I mean, uh, and for that reason, I'm out. But no, like, for that reason, <laughs> oh, God, if anybody gets that reference, more power to you. But let's see, saddle high. I don't know if I want the day cab or the um, the big old sleeper, but we'll see what we end up using um, later on later on down the road. I'm going to do the eh, dual, he dual heat shields tinted, and we'll do a... Ah, I'm not going to worry about the visors right now. Double raised beacons. I'll I'll leave the normal ones on there right now. Front floor mats, factory parking lights. And I'm not going to worry about the IX family pack. We'll do the duels with uh, low smoke. High smoke is crazy. High smoke is freaking wild on this truck. It's so, like, it's so over the top. It's absolutely, like, ridiculous. Mike did an incredible job with the 3880's little brother. Heck yeah, he did. Heck yeah, he freaking did. All right, let me run MD Rims 2. Run it in red. And Beans on, not Mr. Walrus, Beans on Bash. Hey, where are you going, Beans? Okay. Mm -hmm. Beans on Bash and ready to go. Now, your computer is restarted. Your game is restarted. You've got fresh mods. You've got, like, fresh everything, basically. Yes. So... If it still doesn't work, if we still cannot link up together in multiplayer, I'm going to call shenanigans to the update. Yeah, that's about all it could be. And yeah. also, you're not in co-op, so I can't even try to join it. Oh, yeah, I know I'm not in co-op right now. Um, I'm, okay. I'm going to actually recover and sell that random... Uh, well, actually, I'm going to sell my Ford. I'm going to use the CK1500 as my retained truck. And Yeah, I'm that gonna... was the... That was the truck I squished up onto the yep, tree. The other day. Yep. All right. Selling I lines at four fifty, and I should be able to just retain my Peterman and bring it into multiplayer with us as long as everything works. But just to be safe, I'm gonna sell it. I'll do a rebuild. Like, don't worry. I'll do a rebuild. It's not going away or anything like that. I just want to go ahead and let's see, Maxwell Tractor Boy. What's up, you guys? I see you saying hi. Also. Dude, I gotta give a massive thank you to you guys for blowing through that 550 likes mark on the stream. Y'all are absolute animals, and I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much. Blood79, a red truck? Shocking. He, well, shocking indeed. Um, let's do a quick run-through of my enabled mods. I'm gonna turn a few off. I'm gonna turn the... Hmm, do we want Pog's universal add-ons on? Um... We're not really doing any logging, so maybe yeah. not for this one. I'll get those and... out, and I'll get um, anything in particular you want to make sure is off, because uh, that would be that would be a good one to uh, to to sort out now. Maybe the ORG three hundred and fifty, because I don't think I got that one updated. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. Right, Alain. What's up, dude? And Andy, I see you out there in the chat, and welcome back, Owen Arsenal. All right. Um, do you want Bartleby's Phase Four trucks? I like them, but like, Absolutely. you want them? Oh yeah. Okay. That was a that was a vast improvement to the GMC. I like to be able to have like three selectable low gears. Yeah, exactly. As well as the high speed transmission. Yeah, Joseph Jacklet. By the way, with that four ninety nine super chat, thank you so much. Not to be political or or anything, but Tomcat Beans twenty twenty four. Oh, that's great. Um, every car... Which, oh, my God. When Tomcat and Beans are in the White House, every car will only come with high gear. Every vehicle will only come with high... That's it. You get one gear, and it's yeet gear. That's it. <laughs> with the occasional Pikachu. Yes. Yes. Pikachu will be included. Um, but let me... I'm going to go ahead and turn off VB's... Um, BB's mud trucks for now. 
I'll turn off Lime's L400, the old L400, and I'll leave the powerhouse yeah. on. I'm going to turn off the Delta trailers, and I'm going to turn off the CCM Truggy. Just trying to make everything really simple for you. Um, okay. I'll... Yep, pretty much, puppy. Let's see. I'm going to... I'll. Well, the CORR we know works together. Um, and we know the Mudcat works. We know the Powerhouse works together. But obligatory Pikachu comment. Exactly. <laughs> Can't wait to see it, right? All right. Let's see. And... Do you... Okay. Do you have the fully updated, like, Frog SEMA F450? Yes, I do. I made sure to have that one installed before we started. Okay, and then it's it's on the Glitchworks 1500? Yeah. Okay. And I got the 3880 and the Yeetmobile, and that's just about it. I mean, the IVK100A, Kenworth W990, um, the... Uh, I'll turn that off, and... Do you want to bring the K10 shop truck? I know there's a little bit of controversy around it right now. Do you think we should bring it? Um, honestly, that's a bit of a hard one. Yeah. It would be fun to run. It would be fun to run around in, but if if there's a problem with it, we maybe shouldn't show it off. Yeah, that that works for me. Un until we get everything sorted out and we know yeah, what's what. Yeah, exactly. We know what's uh what's good. Max and Jeremy and Blaine, what's going on, you guys out there in the chat? Thank you guys so much. And Lyndon Owens, we hope to see you when you get back, dude. And just join what's new on consoles. Well, Sarge Hagen, you've got a bunch. This thing right here, the r, &R 8000 series, just dropped on consoles today, along with the map Jeep's Trails, along with a, actually, quite a few other things. Um, you might want to check out the Jeep's Trails map for sure. You've also got a new Toyota Truggy on consoles. You've got a bunch of, a uh, bunch of new vehicles. Go to your mod browser and click sort and filter, and then sort by date updated. Make sure the arrow is pointing down, and that'll show you the latest console mods. Um, and let's see, I remember when you played Gary's Mod on FH2. Holy crap, the days. Dang, boy. Okay, so Somehow I... Somehow I miss Gary's Mod. It's actually so weird. So, like, we had, um, we had actually a few, um, a few Gary's Mod videos on the channel that, like, I didn't necessarily play it all that much, but the times where I did play it, it was really fun, and we used, like, random wacky car mods and stuff. <laughs> I think I played it with, I think I played it with Jeep Guy, it was either with Jeep Guy or with Gunner one time. And I think we were, like, we were running around in multiplayer, and I couldn't figure out why it was, like, the sky just started raining Ford F-150s. I, I don't know why. Um, that was new? I mean, it was Gary's mod, but still. Yeah, the only ones I've seen with Gary's mod, um, hmm, how to put this? They involve things that go boom. Yes, pew-pews. <laughs> well, no, actual, like, big, big... Oh, you know, city, city oh, ex leveling. Explodies, sort of yeah. Yeah, explodies, that's the word. There, there you go. There you go. Uh, but let me grab... Where's? Don't tell me I got rid of Lime's L400. Uh, or not L400, um, F450. Wasn't that... Is. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the F450. So now I am in a multiplayer instance of highway hauling. So cross okay. your fingers and hope for the best. Tristan Hell says he still plays Gmod. That's sick, though. Sinister Blakes, what's going on out there in the chat? When is Lime's F450 coming to consoles? Uh, as soon as it, uh, as soon as he submits the console-friendly version for approval, and then it, uh, as soon as it passes through. So let me go with a built setup. A heavy toe. Actually, no. I'm gonna do a normal toe. And toe setup. I'm gonna quickly just rebuild my towing game right now. And I know we've been, like, trying on and off to get Diesel in here. I'm just hoping and praying that it works. Maxwell and Garrett and Tractor Boy and Owen and Hunter, what's going on, you guys? Also, I do have to say, Diesel, though, like, when I try to go into multiplayer by myself, it loads up super quick for me. Like, I never have any problems. Yeah. And, hmm. Connection lost. Okay. That's happened before. So... And now it's back to the nat type problem again. Nat type strict. Yeah. So, yep. you know what I'm going to go with with that? I'm going to go with... Yo! Just, yep. uh, Justin won with that five pound super chat. Hey, so think uh, you need to play Ontario Logging more. The map is so big and beautiful. Um, uh, makes it more fun. Only pick up with Goosenecks. So much fun. Heck yeah, man. I mean, it's a great map, though. It is a genuinely great map. So, I'm going to actually just retain that truck. Go back to the main menu. Because the strict nat type issue... You know when the only time... The only time 
Um, let's see, our console's getting Kenworth and Peterbilt trucks. So, the Kenworth is already on consoles in its console-friendly debadged form as of today. The Peterbilt should be on consoles soon. So, I'm actually loading back into highway hauling uh, in single player, but... Yeah, I think it's a an update problem because the last time we had the NAT type issue, like the strict NAT type issue, the mm -hmm. the only other time we had that was when they had just recently pushed an update. You know what I mean? So yeah, and we've by this point we've eliminated the fact the potential that it's a mod problem. So the only I've, thing left is the update yeah. broke something. Well, I mean, because I've continued to disable more and more and more mods. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's also not like uh, there used to be a problem if there was like over 100 mods or something. And I saw on your mod browser, you have like 117 or something. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind the fact that I'm at 150, but even then, oh! it should still, oh, it should still not cause that big of a problem. 150? Yeah. Wow. A little bit OCD there, I guess. Oh my <laughs> God. That's so... That... That is so stupid. I love it. That is so silly. That's so many mods. Oh my yeah. god. Now keep in mind, guys, I am not at all saying that like his decision was stupid or god forbid that he was. I'm just saying that like I'm saying stupid in the sense of it being like just a wild like ability. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and get this all set up. There we go. Chocolate Gamer with the $5 Super Chat. Let's see. Thank you so much, Chocolate Gamer, by the way. And let's see. What up, bro? Should I get Snowrunner? I was thinking about it. Also, awesome stream, bro. Yeah, dude, I think you should absolutely get it. I mean, if you're down for, like, you know, if you like, tr if you like any type of, any type of game that involves, you know, hauling or big trucks or modified trucks or trail riding or really anything at all in the realm of like truck related gaming you're gonna love snow runner it's literally gonna be it's gonna be home for you you know what i mean like so many people have sort of like taken up residence as you know or taken up residence in snow runner um as like their go-to truck game any good tips to keep space for mods um just make sure you always we'll do what i did yeah, don't do it. Don't do what Diesel did and sub to everything. <laughs> <laughs> going really well, actually, Hunter. Thank you so much for asking. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get a uh, little bit of a uh, hauling setup going here, real quick. We got some uh, got some contracts to finish off. Go ahead and put that. Um... Oh no, 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 no. There we go. Go ahead and get that uh, e-brake on and. Blackbird startup venture. Oh god, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Holy moly. Building a community. That is massive. All right, I'm going to need multiple trucks and trailers for this. Like, that is that is a ridiculous amount of stuff. Oh, my God. Let's see. Yeah, right, Jerk Morris? That would be freaking wild. Are these on console right now? Um, this map will be coming to consoles, as will this truck. They're not on consoles yet, but they are going to be coming to consoles soon. All right, let's see. E-brake on. Six-unit flatbed boy. All right, let me go get the concrete loaded up on this guy right here. Oh, no. Did my... Remember, I got a wireless controller so this crap wouldn't happen. Oh, wait. Are we back? Now we're back. Oh, my God. I bought a brand new wireless controller so that that crap wouldn't happen. What did that crap do? Happen again. <laughs> yep. And uh, that's pretty much why I still have my Xbox wireless controller, but with just like a cell phone USB cable to connect it to the PC. Yeah, I mean, like, now granted, okay, I love the freedom that having the, um, like, that having no wires gives me. I love that freedom. But, you know, it's sometimes really freaking annoying when it screws up. Yeah. Like, really freaking annoying. All right. We're going to set this thing up as we had it set before. And I'm kind of, like, it's funny because I'm frustrated that I have to rebuild it because, like, multiplayer with Diesel didn't work. But at the same time, I'm excited to build it again because I just, at the end of the day, I just enjoy building trucks. So I'm going to set this thing up with a full-on, like, saddle high, um, no, 
no limits whatsoever, like, eight units super heavy, um, trailer setup, nothing, like, nothing really spared in terms of capabilities here, but we'll do some beacons, we'll do, oh, yes, roof wing, absolutely, we need the big wing, I mean, it's, it's, it's the race truck, why would we not, all right, let me also grab, there's so many add-ons for this truck, and you guys will see these all in detail, in my, uh, my full, uh, my full, like, in-depth video about this truck, but we're gonna do tall, no, short twins, low smoke. That'll work for me. MD wheels, too. And we're gonna go. I wanted to do a high clearance bumper, but, uh, let's see. Lightning? Oh, God. Let's see. Check batteries. Yeah, I probably should do that after the stream, but, um, let's see. With that being said, yeah, Dark Hellhound once again, and let's see. Oh, that's awesome, Gunner. Happy early birthday, man. Are they coming tomorrow? Hey, there's going to be a lot of them coming tomorrow. And also, by the way, thank you guys so much for blowing through that 600 likes spark on the stream. Y'all are freaking incredible. By the, by the way, I love that EV all-wheel drive. It's, it's fully animated, too. So cool. So cool. All right. I think we can finally start to get some work done now. This should be good. So 12 also units. Oh, go ahead. Also, little hint here, mm -hmm. that Peterbilt looks really good with the IX heavy duty trailers behind it. Oh, I bet it does. I bet it does. Crap, I don't have them turned on. Ah! Crap. Um, I'll tell you what, a little bit later on, I might back out and turn them back on. And apparently, oh, Puppy Master said in the chat that he made that wing in an hour in Blender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly not surprised. I mean, that's sick, though. I love it. I freaking love it. What are the new console mods today? Well, your newest console mods as of today include um, include the latest uh, console-friendly Kenworth mod. You also get the uh, the Jeep's Trails map. You get the R&R &R 8000 series. You get a Toyota Truggy. All sorts of new mods uh, for consoles that can be found by going to your mod browser and clicking sort by latest update. But some of the mods that I may have missed were um, an update to the Buy and Sell Special Trailers Pack. You got the Dangerous Territories map. Uh, map. You got the CCM KJ68, the Delta Semis Pack, uh, CCM T95 Truggy. You've got the BA-10. You've got the uh, Risky's Powerhouse, of course. And so many crazy trucks, man. So many crazy trucks. So let me also grab a... Where is the Kenworth? Is it in Highway? No, it's not. Uh, is it in Heavy? Oh, he puts the W990 in heavy. That's odd. All right, definitely the full-on, like, yeah, high range, 10 speed, uh, raised. Good Goodyear Eagle F1. That's a sports car tire. Like, okay. It's like, don't worry about it. Exactly. The Peterman, let's see. Oh, my God, Grim says. I didn't even think of that. But some Minecrafter, what's going on out there in the chat, buddy? I see you checking in. I cannot get over how much, like, okay. I don't know if you guys were here when I explained this earlier, but see how this looks like a black iced coffee? I, that's what I asked for. And, like, I went out with my coffee and I started drinking it. And I'm like, it, it it's, it's not bad. It's good. But it tastes like coffee with, like, a gigantic amount of, like, caramel syrup in it. Like, I'm not even joking. I don't know what they put in it, but... I, 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 I guess we're good. Um, I'm not going to worry about it. So let's see. Front facing. Ooh, twin tall wedge cap. Yes. All wheel drive. Yes. And saddle high. Yes. And repair spares. Yes. And I'm not going to worry about that. Let's see. Lion, flaming lion. Dig it. Muzzle exhaust. Ooh, yep. And yeah, we'll do the Autobots cab light. And we could go full Optimus Prime on the thing. And you guys can as well on the console version. Like, this thing is, like I said, on console, just doesn't have the Kenworth logo. What's going on, Andre? And what's going on, Lindsay? I see you out there in the chat. Yeah, remember, like I said, guys, this truck is on consoles. It just doesn't have that Kenworth logo on the front. But other than that, it's literally the same. Literally the same. I'm running that setup right now. Boy, that's freaking legit. All right, yeah, we just got to get a trailer set up for this thing as well. Why did I put saddle high on this thing? I'm going to actually go back and switch it out for... No, actually. Um, I'm going to run the wide one. 
Yeah, I'm gonna run the wide, like, what is it, a five unit, I think? A five unit? All right, Deacon, we will see when you get back. Hope you have a great rest of your day, man. You better believe the powerhouse is on Xbox. Mm-hmm. Needs, uh, needs a coffee sponsor. I would love a coffee sponsor. Can you imagine, like, if I had a coffee sponsor? Bro, hey, like, all right, real talk. Any coffee companies out there that are down to sponsor me, I will plug your coffee every stream. Don't even worry about it. It will become a actual integration. I doubt I'm, I like, watch me get, like, an email from a coffee company later today. It'd be hilarious. Oh, that my God. That would be funny. Probably not, but, like, oh, my God, would it be freaking funny if it happened. All right, so I've got my, basically, my triple rig set up ready to go um, where I can haul planks, bricks, you know, cement, pipes, like, everything that I need for this. And what am I going to run on this one? The wide five unit. All right. So we've got the Kenworth, we got the Peterbilt, and we got the F450. We got everything ready to go. And let's see, you need Duncan. Bro, I wish I had gone to Duncan this morning. I love Duncan. Duncan's, <laughs> the, Duncan's the freaking best. All right. Let me get back in the F450 and make my way to the concrete area. Where's the concrete area? Block works, concrete. Blurk works. Let's see, is yeah. Powerhouse on console? Heck yeah, it is. What's up, Diesel? Nothing, just laughing at the uh, name because it's like block works, like Roblox. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, God. Oh. Tokyo Dorifto. All right. I'm glad, like, in some ways, I'm glad that I went with the... Um, Let's see. Oh, no worries, full send. No worries at all, buddy. No worries whatsoever. Yeah, I'm kind of glad that I went with the axle dump because now I'm going to make a coffee company. Sarge, if you start up a coffee company, you get that thing off the ground and then you reach out to me, all right? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's great. But, no, um, as far as, like, going with the axle dump on this thing, I'm kind of glad I did because now the, like, you still get the smoke factor, but it's not, like, constantly in your face when you're driving. Um, and it's, like, not hard to see. All right, so we need four units of bricks or four units of concrete blocks. I'll do concrete blocks first. Let's see. And then we could do the other two units of bricks. So this guy is loaded. Now, as far as the other options, we need... Hmm. Where are we going to get... Let's see. Pipe factory and building a community unload. All right. So the pipe factory, I'm sending... I'm sending the W990 to the pipe factory. There we go. And then I'm going to send the Peterbilt back over to Blockworks to pick up the remainder. Now, if you guys haven't seen the interior on this thing, the interior is where Iceberg spent probably like, I don't know, three quarters of the time on this thing. I mean, look at it. It's nuts. It's so wild. So wild. Matt Hawaiian, I'll have to look that up. I haven't actually seen it. Let's see. Oh, do you really, Dark Hellhound? You, you get their delivery? Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Uh, Diesel, are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. So somebody in the chat had an idea, and I think I might... Uh, internally, I almost want to actually do this. Because someone said... Someone said, you should have a coffee company named Beans and Beans. <laughs> you know, that's a good idea. That's so brilliant. That is so... Br Beans and Beans Coffee Incorporated. Oh my... What? I need to make this a thing. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That would be so hilarious. Like, and not even would it be hilarious. I feel like you could, you could legit, like, market yourself based on the name alone. The only thing oh, is, yeah. it wouldn't even matter that people wouldn't know who Beans was. Because Beans and, you could call it Beans and Beans, and then have, like you know, a dachshund right there on the, um, on the packaging, and, like, people wouldn't even have to know where Beans came from. They would just think, yeah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, and he's holding, like, a package of coffee beans. Either holding a package of coffee beans, or, I mean, well, 
I don't know, beans and beans, you could have beans lifting up his paw to where you could see his toe beans. <laughs> <laughs> This, this actually needs to have a lot of thought put into it because this is a really good idea. <laughs> this is an amazing idea. What the heck? Oh, I love it. What? Matt Hawaiian says I need to try Ranger Coffee and said um, said it was, said it's amazing and I need to try it out. I've never heard of Ranger Coffee. Jacob says, what map? This is Highway Holland, my dude. It should be on consoles very soon, by the way. And also, this Kenworth that I'm driving is on consoles as of today and you need to check it out. Medium pipes, small pipes. Let's see. We just need two units of that, right? Yep. Small pipes ready. Turn her around real quick. But yeah, I mean, hey, I think we've got the, uh, let's see. I think we've got the, uh, the marketing department for, uh, beans and beans coffee already sorted out. <laughs> With a few flying trucks, too, because why not? Exactly. Exactly. Let's see. What is the best... Be I can't talk. What is the best mod on this game, and is it worth it? Well, first of all, that's about the most loaded question since the release of Sliced Bread. And two, you can't just have, like, to me, I couldn't just have one mod. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a ton of different trucks that I'd like to have, but if you were going to play, like, objectively, an objective campaign place... Camp blah, 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 campaign... Let's see? Yeah, it transfers. <laughs> but anyway, if you were to pick just one mod for the campaign, I would make it the 3880. Yeah, the 3880 is probably, like, the one where you can... It's everything it... from a... I mean... It's an overpowered or overkill scout that can haul yep. trailers. It yep. can haul... You can put, like, a small flatbed on it, even the rollback bed. Mm -hmm. Make, uh, you can scout out areas. You can pick up small cargoes that way. You can hook up to a trailer, deliver large cargoes. It, it can do everything. It literally can do everything. I mean, it can do... It's the... The thing is, you can't really call it, like, a Swiss Army knife because it's not that precise... I... It's not that precise. I would call it the Swiss Army Sledgehammer because it can do everything and it does everything in a very extra way. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can do, you can power over or through anything and <laughs> depending on who's driving, you can knock down trees. I won't say who did that. Exactly. But, Yo, you know, Sarah there's... and Stallion out there in the chat, I see ya. What are the new console mods? Well, we are driving one of them right now, man. You've got to check out this new Kenworth. In the Optimus Prime paint job, by the way. So freaking good. So freaking good. All right. So the small pipes are done. And now that we've got that done, I'm going to detach and delete. No. Yes. There we go. Accept. Shut this guy down. Now, I'm going to grab Limes F450 because we've got a full, 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 full load of basically everything we need. Well, not everything, but almost everything. we got four units of concrete blocks, and we got two out of four units of bricks, so we'll take care of that right off the bat. Man, I didn't even realize earlier on, but the bricks and the concrete blocks, that combination thereof, would have been the perfect candidate for the eight-unit Super Heavy, and I don't know why the heck I didn't, like, register that in my head. I guess I'm, I guess I'm just an oof sometimes. Uh, where am I? There, that, that's where I'm going. Okay, so the best way to get there is actually going to be, oh, left on the paved road and then right on the dirt road. So you know what actually you could do with like, because somebody in the chat, I know this is a really weird topic of discussion, but somebody in the chat was like, it costs like, you know, three to four hundred thousand dollars to open up a uh, like a coffee shop which i don't doubt that it would be that or more depending on where you live in the country but like what i've seen that's been really really cool at least around my area is like people starting up coffee shops out of like a tiny house or like a converted shed or like a converted camper trailer that stuff is like the coolest thing in the world to me yeah that's a pretty neat idea and I mean, you know, if you think about it, you can go, what I would do is I would like, as long as you had some like, you know, prime, like street corner real estate to put it on, go to Home Depot, 
buy one of their little buildings for like what? They, depending on the size, they're what, like 10 to 20 grand, right? Somebody correct That's me if I'm like wrong that. on that. But 10 Actually, it might not be that much, depending on like what type of building you're talking about. Yeah, let's say give or take 10 grand, right? For mm -hmm. one of these little like Home Depot buildings, put it on some prime street corner real estate, get everything you need squared away for like a coffee shop, boom. And I mean, heck, you could cut like if you if you got all the permits you needed for it, and then you had everything paved around the like around the building, you could cut a hole in the wall, set up a drive-through window, boom, there you go. <laughs> Problem solved. Exactly. I don't know how the town would feel about it, but I mean, like, as long as you're like, as long as you pay all your dues, you're good, right? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Let's see. Whoop. Ooh. Let's see. Somebody said, oh, Chad says, yeah, you could do that. It would be way cheaper. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Puppy Master says 10 grand would buy you one of the top of the line Home Depot, like, shed buildings. So I don't oh. know what would that, what would that equate to? Like, I don't know, like 10 by 15? Not 10 I'm by saying... 20, right? Surely not 10 by 20. Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. I haven't really looked at the buildings that much. Yeah, I haven't really been to Home Depot lately. I'm Lowe's gang over here, but... <laughs> And Stream just brought up that I saw this trailer almost flip. Oh yeah, don't worry about it. It's like it's fine. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. The only reason, and the only reason why, like, I have nothing against like looking at the buildings at Home Depot. The only reason I, the only reason I say Lowe's gang is because of the fact that like Lowe's is much closer to me than Home Depot is. So whenever I need stuff like that, I just end up going to Lowe's anyway. But let's see. Our mod's gonna be on the Nintendo Switch. Um, it doesn't look like they will be right now. But uh, is that truck on console? It will be as soon as Limes gets it approved in its console-friendly trim. But yes, he is working on the console-friendly version as we speak, bro. As we speak. Also, guys, I'm very, very, very close to, and I'll go ahead and, like, reveal this to you guys right now, but, and I'm, I'm sure this is going to divide my chat like crazy. Like, I'm 100% sure this is going to divide my chat like crazy, but try, like, try not to go too, like, try not to go too crazy against people that disagree with you on this topic in the chat, but, but... I am going to be, some of you guys are going to be like, what the heck, but very soon, I am going to be buying a mountain bike for the channel. I already have all the camera equipment set to go. I'm going to be buying a mountain bike for the channel, and I've already decided I'm going hardtail, so don't try to convince me of a full suspension. And what brand would you recommend, this is, the chat's going to go, like, going to go all over the place and be, like, battling itself back and forth. But I'm just curious if any brand, like, stands out in the chat. All right, delete trailers. There we go. And now I'm going to recover this thing to go ahead and get the damage repaired. We'll park it outside the garage to get everything ready to go. And let's see. I bought a shed a few months back for six grand, and it was a 12 by 24. Jesus! That's a lot of shed! That's a ton of shed! That would certainly do the job. 12 by 24. Good. What in the heck do you put in there? I love how I I love how I asked what mountain bike should I get and someone said Honda. And I'm like <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, why not? I mean, I don't think Honda make I'm I'm talking about bikes you pedal, not like not motorcycles. Bikes that you, you know, you do the up and down oh, you don't... thing with your feet, you know, like... <laughs> don't you actually do that with a Honda anyway? Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! Oh my god. Um, yeah, I had to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Grieving Sage says Santa Cruz, which Santa Cruz bikes are ridiculous. They're so nice. They're also like five grand. Um, <laughs> a lot of people are recommending, uh, Specialized and Diamondback. I love the Diamondback bikes, but, like, nobody seems to have them in stock. Why a hardtail? Because I've, I don't know, I rode a bunch of different bikes, and I really liked how, um, I really liked how lightweight the hardtails felt, how quick they felt on the trails, and how, 
Um, honestly, how easy to throw they felt like going off of jumps. But it's also because when I started riding bikes, I literally started on a dirt jumper. So I'm like, it's 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 fun. Like it's it's fun to to kind of like go back and forth between different bikes and compare. But really, at the end of the day, I, I find myself really, really enjoying, you know, the hardtails, the, the dirt jumpers. Honestly, if I could just get a dirt jumper with gears, that's probably what I would get. You know what I mean? Um, I love the Norco bikes. I can't find any in stock or, like, any for sale, like, anywhere. So, we're going to see what we could do, but let's see. Cool. And also, I'm not going the e-bike route either. I, I E-bikes are still... I have nothing against e-bikes, but they're still very weird to me. And I feel like they're kind of unnecessary for what I want to do. Let's see. You can tell with a hardtail easier than a full suspension. Too. Exactly. Like, that's what I'm talking about. They're lighter, easier to throw around. But um, you, have a, you do a GT bike. So, fun fact about that. I actually watch... Um, what's the guy's name? Skills with Phil? I think he's sponsored by... Is he sponsored by GT Bikes, or is he sponsored by somebody else? I think he's sponsored by GT Bikes. I drove off the road. All right, enough mountain bike talk. I'm getting back on, like, this task, but I need wooden planks, and I don't know if I have the ability to pick them up just yet, but was hmm. I able to pick up cement at this concrete area? I really don't I remember. I think you can. I think, I think you I can, can do that. Let's see. Um, Nakamura says Santa Cruz are mostly full sus. Let's see, but the best... Oh, crap. Literally, 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 he just, uh... Is Canyon. I never heard of them. I've literally never even heard of them. Yeah, full suspension bikes really are fully sus, though. <laughs> Ouch. Tristan, oh my god. Tristan's like, only boomer like e-bikes. And I'm like, oh, god. Holy called out. Oh my god. Well, I hope we didn't have any, um, any e-bike riders in the chat, because holy called out. Wow. Somebody in the chat also says, CCM bikes bad. I don't know what CCM bikes are, so I don't think I need to worry about them. Um, where would I, uh-oh. Hmm. So, there's nothing on here that says it's a place to pick up planks. Oh, dear. Did I not, like, did I not activate something? Am I an idiot? Um. Hmm. I'm curious, actually. Did I, like, make a mega goof? They're oh, Canadian bikes? Oh, okay. It should be there. It's not, like, Remo to have a glitch like that, so it's probably just a task that hasn't been activated yet. Like, you have to deliver a load of logs to the lumber mill and then they convert it get converted probably to the, uh, yeah it's like oh get the um it's like probably a get the mill back up and running type thing yeah something a task to that effect yeah well i'll tell you what we'll drop these off and then we've got our f450 still we need to use our f450 to um to figure out what we need to do next you know I, somebody in the chat said I have a Trek hardtail. It works great. I looked at some of those. Um, I looked at some of the Trek hardtails, but a lot of them were, like, out of stock for the next... Oh, God. What did the guy say? The guy said they were out of stock for the next, like, four months. He was like, yeah, you could buy your bike now and get it in, like, September. And I was like, yikes. Um, uh, no. I was like, okay. Um, like, I don't know if it's if it's just me. But, like, I don't like pre-ordering stuff. Like, I don't like the idea of paying for something now and not getting it until, like, five months later. Is that bad that I don't like pre-ordering stuff? Like, sometimes I do, but I just have never liked it, you know? It's just weird yeah. for me. It, it's honestly, because this is the thing, is I don't do pre-orders at all. Unless oh, it comes really? To the game. Yeah, unless it comes to games, I don't do pre-orders of any type. There goes a federal offense, by the way. You took out a mailbox. Uh, <laughs> well, but, rip that construction company, or not construction company, <laughs> trucking company. Anyway, um, yeah, it, that's, I think, totally normal, because when you tend to pre-order, you wind up with messes like Snowrunner was originally. Ouch. I think. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, um, 
Oh, that's right, Sage. Now, I knew Seth was sponsored by Diamondback, but I couldn't remember who Skills with Phil was sponsored by. Yeah, let's see. I like pre-ordering games. Now, granted, I, I pre-order games, but I don't really feel like... Because the thing is, like, I pre-order games because I want to be able to just kind of, you know, hit the ground running with the game, like, right when it comes out. And I've always been that way with games. Like, I like to be, you know, I like to be first in line to try it out. I like to see what all the weird glitches are. Um, maybe that's just me, but, like, oh, somebody out there in the chat was like, I pre-ordered Cyberpunk, and I didn't want to pre-order anything ever again after that. And I was like, ooh, ouch. <laughs> yeah. Cy Cyberpunk actually... I, I will give them credit. They took SnowRunner's glitchiest game title of 2020. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, so I almost got into Cyberpunk and then I decided not to because it was just like there was so much going wrong, it, it felt like. And it just felt like there was such a, um, I'm, I don't want to, I'm not calling the game a dumpster fire, but like the community around the game almost felt like a dumpster fire to me. And so it was like, I didn't really want to like, dip my toe into that, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it was not, uh, uh, ooh, Grievan says, uh, Sage says, uh, you can check out Giant as well. I don't know much about Giant, but I wouldn't be opposed. Yeah, I really wouldn't be opposed. I just want to get out there on the, like, because you gotta think, I'll be taking it to trails, jump parks, and that's about it. Like, it's gonna be, it's gonna spend its life in jump parks and on trails. And most of it's probably gonna end up being filmed, and there's also gonna be, yeah, look forward to, uh, to footage of me falling over on the channel. That's gonna be fun. Alright, so wooden planks. Now, that's the only thing I have left to pick up, is wooden planks. So that's where this is gonna get interesting, because... Let me delete... question is, where are they? Well, I was about to say, now we have the task of figuring out where they are. And, let's see. So, building a community... Wooden planks, I click it, it does nothing. Oh, so, guaranteed, it's a task. Guaranteed, so, tasks, let's see. Sawmill scavenger, hmm, creature comforts, rookies, culvert affairs, I love the freaking name of that task. Um, Yeah, that was the... Uh... You remember where I was when I got the 3880 stuck? Or actually, no, the uh, Pacific and the cat oh, stuck dragging yeah, them yeah, back? Oh, yeah, 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 That's where that is. Bruh. Okay. All right, in I'm that, back in, in lines up for 50. I don't know where the heck to get wooden planks. I'm stumped, boys. Like, I don't know. Let's see. Um, hmm. Oh, I got you, Sage. Actually, that sounds like a really nice lineup of bikes. Like, straight up. What are the new console mods? Well, the latest console mods as of today are this thing in its console-friendly trim. You can get it in full Optimus Prime spec. It is on consoles right now. You can also get the new map Jeep's Trails as well as a Toyota Truggy along with another new CCM build as well as a brand new map as well. It's called like... It's a, it's like a single, single trail. Uh, ooh, haul logs to a sawmill and make planks. So that's probably, that's probably what we're going to have to do. Where is Lord. Where is the wait, Sawmill Scavenger? It doesn't really give you a So there's a log site and a log site. Where's the mill though? I don't even know where the mill is. Like I'm completely stumped on where the mill is. Do you know where the mill is, Diesel? Um honestly, no I don't. Because... I'm stumped. Because if I'm being perfectly honest here, the with the bug on the main game where it's like the FPS is just shot, I haven't been playing it because it's just too painful, frankly. Oh, yeah, no, I understand. Yeah, I understand. Freshy85, what's up, buddy? I see you out there in the chat. Thank you so much for dropping by. Um, by the way, check this thing out on consoles. It has been released on consoles as of today. You can find it. You can find it by going to your mod browser and sorting by uh, latest updates. Also, I think I'm going to do a... Hmm. I might... Oh, crap. If I switch tasks, is it going to let me, like... Will I have to... Let's see, if I accept this. If you activate it, if you activate or accept a new task, it shouldn't really do anything. It'll just push that one further down in the lineup. So you can still come back to it later. Uh hold on. Let's 
start tracking. Okay, yeah, so I can yeah. come back to that later. Okay, so this yeah. one is Startup Venture. Now, Startup Venture, um, let's see, Startup Venture Up uh, or Unload. That one I'm literally right next to. So that's actually good. But again, I need planks for that. Where in the heck am I supposed to get them? I think we may have found a uh, an issue. What's going on, Max and Brian and Kevin? I see you guys out there in the chat. Do you know why I don't get nine 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 money on a mod map? It's kind of annoying. Once again, the um, the mod creators need to add a new line of code to their maps um, after the new update to get everything uh, to get everything rolling. You asked Remo. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens with that. I'm very, very, very curious. Now, I'm actually going to return back to the main main menu real quick, and we're going to go to a mud map very briefly, uh, very briefly, because I want to actually, or maybe not even a mud map. Ooh, I want to show you guys one of the most recent things that that actually made its way to consoles. Now, if I go to sort and filter, and I turn both of those filters off, what in the heck is that? Okay, I'm I'm good. Um. Look at that you... picture. What? Yeah. The... Where is it? Oh, the Western Star. Yeah. Or the Western Monster. Yeah. Suffice to say, I'm going to add that one to my lineup. The 714 WM. Uh... I'm pretty sure that's supposed to mean, like, Western Monster. Yeah. Um. It just got updated. It just yeah. got updated. It's got, like, 35,000 people sub to it. And I'm like, bruh, that's... That's gnarly. Um, I'm gonna check this out. I yeah, don't I'd know. Yeah, I'd like to see this thing. Let's see. Oh my God, Nakamura! That is, that is very. Holy cow! He's he's asking me to look at the Canyon Exceed Carbon Fiber SLX Nine. It's a five thousand dollar carbon fiber mountain bike. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, God. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm trying to be looking at, but uh, I don't know, bro. We'll have to see maybe for the future. But let me go into the truck store. Let me go into my heavies. And let me find this, like, ridiculous twin steer. I don't know uh, how it's going to go. I don't know how it's going to be, but... I think that was it at the beginning. 714-something? 714 WM and 714 WME. What's the WME? I don't know. Uh, let me get the WM. Oh, 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 oh God. Um, P1000, sure. Uh, advanced special, sure. Uh, let's see, raised invincible. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, boy. This is getting... More and more sus the further it goes. What's going on, TC and chat? How was your vacation, bro? It was, dude, it was so good. And I want to say mega, mega, mega thank you to you guys um, for chilling out with me now that we've uh, now that we've come back, dude. It was it was actually really awesome. I got to spend some much needed quality time with family. What? Seventy nine inch EMSH one. Oh dear God, I'm. I am astounded. I don't know what to do with these, but um, I know I'm going to attempt to drive over some trees with them. That's for sure. 79-inch modified MSH tires. What in the heck? Engageable all-wheel drive. Uh, you could kind of put the twin steer bed on it. Carrying quantity four. What? Whoa! What? No way. You could load vehicles in that? Oh my god. Light exhaust. Rear... I'm, I don't need that. Why would I need that? Why would I need that? Let's see. Let's see. Eh, it's not all ripped. Oh, is some of it ripped? Uh-oh. Austin, what's up, man? And your boy, Maddie, they look custom. Yeah, this, this whole thing is uh, pretty custom. Um, Let's see. Front fenders don't need that. Wheel one, wheel two. Ah, uh, wheel two looks a little better. The colors are the colors are not bad. They're not like necessarily perfect, perfect, but they're not bad. Um, and no interior customization. Okay. Oh 
god! Jesus! And let's see, the god of deer, it's, it's wild. What's up, people, Lefty and Max? I see you out there in the chat. Let's see, that's good, gotta show love to the family. Dude, absolutely, bro, absolutely. Let's see, exactly, KZZO has 100%. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. I mean, let me check, but like, it's got like 35,000 subs, like mod subs. So I would think that it is there. But, I mean, I don't fully know, but holy moly. Are you still there, Diesel? Yeah, I'm still here. Did you get any confirmation from Puppy on whether or not this is like a... Um... Well, his, his newest comment here is, quote, It won't. It was made, one of the first mods made on the site, and it's made with sus. It's made with so, sus. Oh, no. Yeah. It's known, apparently, to use uh, ripped assets from the base game itself which I didn't know about when I saw it. I mean, I just saw big truck, big tires, and oh, kind of liked it. That's what I yeah. did as well. So, uh, well, I guess that was a little bit of a short-lived run for this thing, but ah, uh, don't worry about it. Um, that's, uh, and when that happens, we say see ya. Um, <laughs> oh, the E is the electric version. Gotcha, okay. So when that happens, we say see ya, and we unsub. Yep. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I just don't know why he updated it. I guess he thinks he's going to get it on consoles. But let's see. One thing that you guys definitely should check out, though, is I'm going to pull it up here real quick. Is another... This is apparently a new map slash region, but I can't read it. Um, let's see. If, if those YouTubers could read, they'd be very upset. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, God. RNG TX Armored Truck Pack. This is something that we definitely need to check out as well. Azov yeah, Iceberg. That was, Interesting. That was actually one of the trucks that I had Yeah. on yesterday, and it is a it is a really nice job. Gotcha. Okay. No, he updates it every now and again. Okay. This thing, by the way, you guys got to check it out. The Delta Hercules. It is on consoles now. Basically, it's that Kenworth W990 just without the um, without the logos, without the emblems. What's good, Lives? We've been driving your, uh, your updated F450 around a little bit. And uh, I've already gone ahead and made everybody aware that my video in full detail on that truck is going live at 5 EST. And also, your um, synchronized release is going to go live around about the same time as well. Oh my gosh, dude. Like, this also apparently is a little sus, so I don't know if I'm going to run a video on that or not. But apparently he updated the World Roamer as well. I didn't realize he updated the World Roamer. I wasn't 100% uh, wasn't uh, sure why, but also, the Gaz Volga is apparently now, like, a thing. You know what I mean? Um, not Seth says, only one mod is on consoles today. Uh, incorrect. You've got the Buy and Sell Special Trailers Pack updated. You got the r, &R 8000 series. You got Dangerous Territories. You got the Delta Hercules. You got Jeeps Trails, Maze Runner, Delta Semi Trailers, CCM KJ68, IBK 100A, BA10. You got a bunch of new mods, boys. A bunch. Dropping with the video of five. Heck yeah, Limes. 100%. Base on my hook. What's or bass on my hook? I guess. What's up, man? I see saying low yo out there in the chat. This thing's got to be weird. It's got to be so weird. I also really want to check out the updated version of Jeep's Trails because that dropped on consoles today. So that's going to be like, that's going to be a huge deal in terms of basically like everybody that has access to it. Basically like everybody that can, um, everybody that can check it out. And let's see. Let's see. Uh. Colso mod, I won't say it's stolen for certain, but I'll say it's Colso, so grain of salt. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to kind of like dabble with it, check it out a bit. But K10 Shop Truck on Consoles TC, uh, no. And there's a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of like, a little bit of stuff going around that the, uh, that that shop truck, the K10 Shop Truck might have some, uh, some, let's say some sus parts on it. So I'm not necessarily going to, uh, Let's see. Ooh, get the r, r Warrior Jeep. Right? I mean, hey, it's going to fit with Jeep's truck. Whoa! Your scenario is not valid. Cannot be uploaded. But then... Yep, I broke it. But then we're good. We're still here, though. We're still here, though. I don't understand. Yeah. This was the other thing, is I think it was Mod.io got the up 
updates today or the maintenance uh -huh. done to it. So I'm wondering if, you know, the maintenance was to try and fix the loading issues that people were having and they just wound up making it worse. Well, I think what happened now is with this update to Jeep's trails, there's no locators. Like, everything is just invalid now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, yep. And Lime's actually... Oh, that's great! Lime's... Everybody, for uh, for you, for those of you that are curious about the console version of Lime's F450, which is going to be the 2017 L400, he says that's already in the works, and it shouldn't be long before it's out and uh, and sent off to be console approved. So that's kind of uh, kind of sad that um, that Jeep's trails didn't want to work. I know Badlands 2 works, and especially the streamer edition. Now, I love the streamer edition, but, like, the weird thing about it is I wish that we could go back to having, like, actual, like, fast travel spawn locators. Those were great. Those were absolutely huh. great. One truck that actually you might want to add into your list is the Azov Iceberg. So I saw that's that, and that one I'm very curious about. That one I really need to check out. Oh, that's awesome, Courtney Brown. And let's see. I wonder why there aren't any... Wait, Carson Ford says, there. I wonder why there aren't any console mods today. The r, &R 8000. Well, the r, &R 8000 got an update today, and then the, um, the Delta Semi-Truck released today. The r, &R 8000 got a update today. Let's see, you have 5,000 money, LOL, why? Uh, because a lot of maps haven't updated to the new uh, the new system yet. So, let me see. Gaz21. Weird. Um, what happens if I go to the advanced engine? I'm getting some mad, like, um, what was that one? Oh my god, what was that game? Not the long... Beware. What? Beware or uh, My Summer Car. My summer car, not the long drive. My summer car, that was it. That was it. Yeah. You rank locked your suspension? Why? <laughs> why? Why? Oh my, why? Bruh. You could put apparently 37s underneath it, but uh, don't, you, re you, oh my God. You rank locked your tires too? You're annoying is what you are. Why would you rank lock your tires? Ugh. Oh. Check this one out in the Discord IRL stuff. Beans and Beans Coffee logo is there. No freaking way. What? Yep. Someone, somebody did it. Someone made it in IRL stuff? Yeah. No. Hold up. Oh, my God. I love it. Oh, <laughs> my God. I love it. Bruh. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, God. Master Modder. Yeah, with the tongue out. All right. Yo, you guys blew to that 700 likes mark on the stream. Thank you all so freaking much. Also, these tires look oddly similar to the Forza Mud tires. Not saying anything, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Let's see. Autonomous winch. And uh, diff. Sure. Short round cap, sure. Uh, upper trunk, sure. Uh, bumpers, beacons, uh, grill number two. Because why not? Let's see. You can do a, some different emblems. Definitely doing the weird horns. I'll throw your diesel addict card in the window. <laughs> and taxi, yes. Fiends on dash, yes. And let's see. The L400 was my first. Dude, that's that's still like mind-boggling to me, Limes, that that was your first truck. Oh boy! All right. How long will this taxi survive on the racetrack? Only time will well, tell. Wanna, In three. Do you want to use dev tools to install the suspension? Oh, that's a good idea. I completely forgot that I had that option. All right. Volga tire. Mud tire. How do I? All right. Where's the big ones? All-terrain big. There we go. Some thick old boys underneath the taxi now. And let's go. What happened to the ORG 350 on consoles? It got an update, so it'll just need to go through recheck, but it'll be back really, really soon. Let's see if it can make the first jump. Go! Oh, barely. Oh, no. I have a feeling my taxi passenger is going to ask for their money back after that one. Looks like the yeah, meme car went, from oh. Runner. Yeah. Ow, that actually hurts. What? Yeah, I could. The stream caught up and I saw what Ooh. happened. Ooh! Okay. 
I try again. <laughs> I try again. That did not go well. Crazy Taxi. Bro, actually, you know what you could do? You could have your own remake of Crazy Taxi on the Yurf Dog track. I, I feel like this would actually be able to make the Yurf Dog track. Rick, what's going on out there in the chat? I see you saying hi. I haven't been on the Yurf Dog track in so I don't even know if it works with the newest update. Hmm. Yurf Dog track. Uh, Yurf Dog on. Frogs race track, work in progress. Dirt track, Chevy. Why is that not... Track. Did the Yurf Dog track get deleted? Uh, it may have. Um... Didn't Yerf Frank Dog. make that one? I was either Frank or Red. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I get the, I get the feeling it was Frank because I don't recall uh, Red making any maps at all. I I wonder. You're probably right. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see. Um. Track. Well, track day dawn. Track day. That's Lime's track day. I know Lime's track day has room for a bunch of stuff, but as far as that goes, I'll turn that on. The, the track day Dawn actually recently came to consoles, which is freaking hilarious. If you don't have the track day Dawn by Remo, get it. Um, but let's see. What was... Here, Moto. Moto Park. Remo's Moto Park recently made its way to consoles as well. And I have a feeling that it may... That'll probably work with the latest one. But, God, I... Hmm. Tracks. Aha! That's on consoles, too. But it's, like, it's super, like, rudimentary in terms of maps. But, um, let's see. Yeah, I think it did. Oh, man. Oh, God. And I guess, um... Let's see. I could not load into any news... Or any zones on Truck Night. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to do that. That's kind of a weird one. I don't know. I don't know what Actually, could be. Huh? If you remember, we tried that, I think, last week. And the update broke the coding or something because we we had the same problem. Yeah, you're right. You are right on that. All right. I'm turning on just a couple of these different mods just because of the fact that I know I'm going to want to have them. I mean, well, not that one because that one's a sus boy. But, uh, let's see. I love how I'm enabling or not enabling mods based on how sus I feel they are. Um, <laughs> there we go, there we go, and there we go. We'll turn you on, we'll turn you on. We might as well turn the off-road Miata on because why not? <gasps> the Lodestar Coaster needs to happen again because I've got so many new vehicles now that we haven't tried on the coaster. And, let's see, Jeep's Trails. Uh, why is it that... So... That's track day. Track day. Track day will head to. Because I know for a fact that track day is going to work. Hey, TC, do you have your BRZ still? Oh, absolutely. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ken and Gilge. Yo, I made it to a live finally. Heck yeah, buddy. Thank you so much for stopping by. And Big Dubs, enjoy the stream. Later, guys. Later, Dubs. Thank you so much for your hard work on all of your mods. And thank you so much for clearing up the confusion that some people had about the ORG 350. Oh my god. I still cannot, for the life of me, I look at the bottom of this coffee, and I'm like, where is this caramel syrup? Like, oh my god, it looks like, it looks like a black iced coffee, but it tastes like straight up caramel syrup. Okay, this is getting deleted. Um, oh god. Oh god. Stuff is oh happening! Dear. Broken things are happening. Uh, yeah, broken things are happening. All right, I am spawning in a dually 3500, and I'm removing both of those, and, uh, yeah, I'm having some, uh, I'm just gonna have some fun with, uh, loading this thing up, and let's see, what will be updated for the 350? Um, a little bit of a rebalance to the weighted bumpers. Love making them. Laters! Laters! All right, so this guy is going to be, we're just gonna do a quick, uh, outside of the garage build, and we'll do a lift. We'll do, yeah, deep dish setup. We'll do... Don't forget to do push-ups. Did I forget to do push-ups? Oh, I probably did. Oh, no. I skipped arm day. Performance, highway, and we're good there. All right. 
We'll go ahead and head into the garage real quick. <laughs> I love Lime's little custom garage buildings the best. Oh, yeah. I've discovered also, the garage. Let's see. Also, the M450 clears the plane, just so you know. Hell yeah. What were you going to say, Diesel? Yep. Yeah, I was just going to pick up Lime's message and make sure you saw it. Oh. I got to see that. Yeah, we're going to... Trust me, we're doing it. All right, I'm going back into my storage and... No! You're trying to sell the wrong thing, you blithering doofus. Okay. So, is there a trailer store on this map? I forget. Let's see, does that I dually... I don't know offhand. Does that dually have console packs? You better freaking believe it does. Oh, yeah. It just has to get approved. So, let me go with... Where's my... Oh, God. Semi extended. Yep. All right. Get ready to get this thing loaded up. And pull it over here. Also, I love the freaking dunes. The dunes are so good. Ramps down and shut down. All right. Back into the garage. And let's see. Okay. So we're going to have some fun with a few different, uh, few different vehicles. First of all, the Buick is coming out. 100% the Buick is coming out. We need this thing on consoles so bad. I mean, it's fully console friendly and it's got the console packs. It just needs to it just needs to make its way to consoles now. The mud singles, the offline winch, take the hood off. Yeah, we're good to go there. Don't need the trailer hitch. Round beacon. I I don't necessarily think I need it, but I would like the uh the beacon bar so I can moderately pre pretend I'm a patrol car. Got the <laughs> searchlight. We'll throw my... Let's see. Ooh, there is not a trailer store. Gotcha. Okay. Throw the TC card right in there. And we will do... Oh, those wheels. And I'm thinking a nice... Hmm. Blue or white. Oh, we'll do white this time. And beans on the dash. And now, the first thing to go up on that trailer is going to be, well, the Mega Buick. I, I love this thing. I love the fact. Let's see. Finally, after a few weeks and months, I uh, ended up to a rank that it was before I lost all my progress. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry you lost all your progress, bro. Console and what is new on console as of today. Um, you got an update to the R&R &R 8000 series. You've also got the brand new Kenworth W990 in its fully console-friendly trim on consoles as of today. So let me go ahead and shut this thing down. We're going to go back into the garage and we're going to go back into the truck store. You've also got some new maps like Jeep's Trails as well as a new single trail map which takes you along a cliff edge. And it's a really fun challenge actually. And let's see. What's up, TC? What's up, Clinton? I see you out there in the chat. Why do all my console maps only have $5,000? Once again, that is a uh, code line that the mod creators are going to have to fix themselves uh, now, that the, uh, now that the latest update has released for the game. So let me grab the F450 now and get it built up to go on the trailer. Oh, no, not the L400, the, uh, the F450. And let's go ahead and bulletproof. Speedy speed boy. And we'll do, we'll do the short lift, I guess. Short lift would probably work pretty well. And I'm going to do the, hmm. Oh, oh, I love this setup. I love that setup. Oh, that looks so good. Well, I'll take the gooseneck hitch out because I don't really need it, but let's see. Hmm. The Lord stack. Definitely going with that. And rock lights. That's fine. I'm not going to do the steps on this one. I'm actually going to do the limes grill uh, without the weighted setup, obviously. And aftermarket lights. And I like these XD wheels. They kind of complement the truck pretty well, actually. So, going through the colors, I'm probably going to run it in something that I haven't before. This red is a little different from the other red, I think. It's a little bit, like, more deep, a little bit more intense than the other red. Oh, this looks so sick. What's up, Justin and Jordan? I see you guys out there in the chat. What is going on, CJR Gaming? And what happened to the ORG350? Once again, the ORG350 just got an update, and it'll be back very, very soon. It wasn't taken down. It wasn't deleted. It just literally needs an update. So... Uh, it needs it needs to get that update approved by the de ow by the devs and then it'll be good to go. All right, shutting that down. We got room for one more small boy. One more little small boy. What should that be? Hmm. Huh. 
certainly not the 6x6. 6x6 won't fit. The Miata. I haven't taken out the Miata in forever. The Miata is dumb, by the way. The Miata is so incredibly dumb. I, I can't even, like... Oh, it does have a race setup. I forgot this thing had a track tune on it. I so forgot this thing had a track tune on it. Oh, this is gonna be... This is gonna be so much fun. This is genuinely gonna be so much fun. I completely forgot that this thing had a freaking... What? Yo, he added stuff to this thing. Oh, it's been so long since I've driven it. Oh my god, it's been so long since I've driven the Miata. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is freaking great. The Mud Yada, all this on console. Uh, not yet, but everything that we're using at the moment is fully console friendly and has full potential to be approved a little bit later on in the future. So before we load this thing up, I'm actually going to hit the dunes real quick in the Miata and see what happens with the full race suspension and BFG ATs. In three, two, one, and let's go. The ORG 350 does not need to be re-uploaded. It just needs to be fully certified again by the devs for the latest update. Look at that thing. Yeah, no, it's it's hilarious. Look at it go. Oh, my God. Look at the freaking Miata go. I love it. Like, out here in the desert with the race suspension, this thing is so silly. Up in ninth gear, by the way. That is a nice... That is smooth for ninth gear. It's so good. Like, it doesn't feel like it's all over the place at all. I don't know also, if... Actually, Go sorry. ahead. Uh, I forgot to mention the Azov Iceberg. Uh -huh. That's by the same creator who did the Twice Twin Steer. Oh, sick. And it has a 1 million torque engine. What? All right, yeah. we're going to have to look at that in a bit. Dude, and also Limes. So, did you ever pursue, like getting the mud yada on consoles like i don't know if, if the devs like said no or if it just never made it into testing or if it never got submitted but like if you never submitted it you totally should because i feel like a lot of people would like really enjoy it just for the lols like because i feel like this thing i mean it was built for the lols anyway it could be along the same level as that um uh, as that plp 50 that banana is working on all right so let's see Dually 3500, pack them up, and fire it up. Oh, God. Get the ramps up. Dude, we're going to head for the obstacles. Holy crap. Jeremy, what's going on, man? I see you saying hi. There is already a bean and bean coffee. Oh, no. But is it bean, or sorry, is it beans and beans, or is it bean and bean? There's a difference. Now, I'm curious, which one should we send first? I'm gonna try this like roller coaster course. Should we do it in the Buick, the 450, or the Miata? Let me know out there in the chat. Let's what about see. The dually. The dually? I. We can try it. We can send her. Let's see. No, I honestly <laughs> forgot about it. Uh, but it shouldn't be hard. It's only it's only got like two Mazda logos, and then it would be console friendly. I think you should do it. I mean, anybody out there in the chat right now that wants to see Lime's Mud Yada, or AKA the Mud Miata, on consoles, let us know. I mean, like, let him know out there in the chat. If you want to see it on consoles, um, go ahead and let us know. Like, if you, if you want the Mud Yada to come to consoles, let us know. And uh, we'll see if he wants to do something about it. All right, let me bring this guy down. we go shut that down 450 fire it up back it off oh my god there's actually more people than i thought that are like mud yada on consoles please that's freaking hilarious we've got like one dude that's like no and i'm like well that's a very strong opinion mm. all right why would he say no He's like, no. And I'm like, okay. Like, that doesn't make any sense, but all right. <laughs> now, let me see. I'm going to detach this trailer. And for now, I'm going to actually delete it because I don't really, like, I don't really need it. Um, and I can, I mean, I got dev tools, so I can 
respawn anything that I need whenever I need it. And now, the dually is going to take on the freaking, um, the freaking roller coaster course. Let's see. Hello, TC. Been a while. What's good, my dude? Let's see. Maybe a little bit. Can you put the 142 tires on the Miata, please? LOL. Oh, it's an LOL for sure when we do that. We got to give it a try. Okay, it's happening then. All right then, Limes. Limes is going for it. All right, up and over. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, Diesel, this thing is getting hung on the bumpers real bad. Like, look mm. how much bumper scraping we're doing. Ooh. Oh, that's so bad. Well, it's full-size things. That's what, that's what happens. Yeah, I mean, it's a... Whoa! I wonder if it'll clear the plane. Stop, 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 stop! All right, come on. Where are you going? There's sixth. Cindy! Oh, no! Oh! Dude, it got, like, grabbed and yeeted by the freaking ramp. All right, next up is the Sentry, or the Buick Sentry. Uh, let's see. Uh, Shane Smith, what's going on? The Chevy's gonna get stuck. It didn't quite get stuck, but it just kind of couldn't do it. Um, let's see. Did you do your push-ups? Uh, I'm gonna need to in the Ford, for sure. I'll definitely do it when we get to the Ford. By the way, you guys, we just blew through that 750 likes spark on the stream. Thank you all so freaking much. All right, we're heading up and over, and we're gonna see how the Buick does on the course. It's actually doing pretty well. It's scraping a little bit, but I kind of anticipated that it would. It doesn't necessarily have the best approach and departure angles. I mean, after all, it was meant to go to the grocery store and back, and that's about it. Oh, this is not going to go well. Risky says, imagine this IRL. Oh, yeah, I... Oh! 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 Well, we didn't exactly clear the plane. Um, let's see. Yeah, totally imagine this IRL. Caleb, what's going on, my dude? And, uh, oh, that's awesome, Paul Grigsby. Congratulations, bro. Any new mods for console? Once again, if you want to check out the latest console mods, uh, those are going to be the, let's see, an update to the Buy and Sell Special Trailers Pack. R&R Customs 8000 Series got an update. The newest vehicle is the Delta Hercules, which is the Kenworth W990 semi-truck. And you've also got Jeep's Trails, Dangerous Territories, Delta Semi-Trailer Pack, CCM KJ68, IBK100A, Maze Runner, and the, uh, the BA. 10. So that's going to be your console mod rundown or your latest console mods rundown as of right now. Now it's the turn of the F450. This thing is going to send it. I don't know, Risky. We'll have to see. Let's see. Because in all, in all their commercials, they're like, we've seen a thing or two, but have they seen this? It's push-ups time. Need to go ahead and get my push-ups done before we take off. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Now we good. Doing this in high mode. That way we've got less of a chance of scrapage. Look at that travel. Oh, God. Can't really do this bit too fast. Otherwise, you'll get into big trouble. And bump clutch. All right. Time to get Cindy. Oh! Oh, wow! I am so surprised. We actually are okay. Whoa! Oh my god, I am so surprised we are actually okay. What? Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. That just caught up here. Oh, it just did? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was a yeet and a half. Oh, it was big. All right, now finally, it's time for... The Miata. Now, I wonder if the Miata is going to be able to make these little jumps. I bet you it can. I don't see any reasons why the Miata wouldn't be able to. Let's see. That's a Florida man type truck. Are you sure? Not necessarily. Oop. I mean, yeah, the Florida trucks are kind of tall, though, I thought. They are tall, but, like, I mean, usually when I think Florida man, I think mud truck, not just general lifted truck. You know? Oh. Uh oh. Overjumped. Ow. Big old overjump. Big old overjump. Let's go. Ooh. All right. 
All right, I'm gonna repair that damage. This Miata is going to freaking fly. Uh, Risky says, if you and Diesel want to do a session, I'll try and hop in. Uh, you know, Risky, we totally would, but today is like the worst time apparently to try to get this game to be happy with multiplayer. It is not having it. Like, not oh. having it. And yeah, that stops on a dime. Holy cow. You no, know, the brakes in that thing are stupid. The brakes on that thing are like the craziest brakes I've ever seen. Let me bring the suspension back down a little bit, and we're going to head for the dunes and see how this thing does up here. Uh, yes, Risky. So ever since uh, the latest uh, maintenance that they did earlier this morning, it seems to have broken the... Basically seems to have broken the, uh, like, the strict mat type of uh, issue that they fixed. So now it's like... It's back to being broken again. Can you put the 142 tires on the Miata? Absolutely, bro. Absolutely. You boy, Rick, so what did I just tune into? Uh, a heavily modified M450 getting heated through a desert, bud. Don't worry about it. I actually love the dudes on this map. They're very, like, Silver Lake-esque. They're very Silver Lake-esque, and they're just, like, really fun. You know, really, really fun. Whoa. Bottomed it out right there. Oh, oh, Okay physics are lovely they uh they happen that bug sucks oh dude you better believe it does all right so we're gonna go back to the main menu now and we're gonna investigate a couple of mods that i haven't checked out yet and uh one uh 120 or 142 tires for the lol yeah don't worry that's coming very soon i gotta go ahead and subscribe to something real quick because i want to check out the where is it it is it is it is where is it bruh Where's that Antarctic? Oh, no. There it is. The Azov Iceberg. The Azov Iceberg has a, what, 1 million torque option? Yeah. Yes, it does. Now, it's not a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not a super high speed engine, but it will move planets. Oh, I bet it will. I, I bet it freaking will. And we're also going to make sure that when we go into the testing grounds this time, we're going to make sure that we throw that those 142 tires on the mud yada now normally let's see is the 450 on pc uh and is it public justin bates it will be going public at about let's i would say give or take 5 p.m eastern standard time later on today in the line with when my full video on it goes out so which like i said is going to go out at 5 p.m eastern standard time so um limes 24 17 f450 I almost said 2017 l400 it's in progress but the 2017 f450 uh video the full in-depth video on it will be going live at 5 p.m eastern standard time later today there's also a weird thing that happens in that video about where like it's it was filmed on two different days and so like you'll see me wearing a one shirt in the beginning and then a couple of minutes later it switches to a different shirt so it's like it, it, it's weird but Let's see, off-road, I believe that's where the, oh, yeah, Kenny 10x10 is a thing now as well on consoles. Uh, I would say, I mean, I would say give it a shot. It's, it's freaking wacky, but, um, but give it a shot anyway. Um, I, it's, as far as I know, there's real no issue, there's no real issues with this thing on consoles, except for the fact that it's, like, still extremely shiny, um, it's just one of those weird ones, you know? The Kenny, I oh. do like, but... Yo, what's up? Um, Yeah, so the Azov might have 1 million torque, but check out Lime's post and see how much the 63 has. Wait, let's see. 1 million LOL. The 63 has 9 million torque. What? What? All right. All right. Ooh, actually, no, I'm on the wrong map. Why would I go to Summer Testing Grounds when I... Ooh, well, I mean, I know why I would go to Summer Testing Grounds, because it makes sense. But why would I go to Summer Testing Grounds when I can go to CTFT Proving Grounds? I love that place. There it is. Resub it. They updated it, too. So I'm really, really, really excited to see what they updated on it, because it's also available on consoles. And let's see. They've got summer and winter. They probably added more objects to, like, the winter areas. But installing and it should be done 
Let's see. Yep, if you don't believe me, check the code, LOL. I don't need to check the code. I, I believe you. Okay, that should show up in my custom scenarios. Let's see. Public racing. Tri there we go. It looks like, naming-wise, it looks like all of these maps are now making their way into a new state where they... Like, they now show up as non-numbered uh, maps in the latest version of the game. Which is good, you know? Which is good. Let's see. We need the Top Gear test track. It wouldn't be very entertaining for a lot of these off-road rigs, though. Hey, what's up, Eric? You finally made it out of the stream? Heck yeah, buddy. Let's see. I really like this truck since I discovered it. Dude, the Kennys are hilarious. The Kennys are absolutely freaking hilarious. Uh, Landon, the latest console mods are, as far as like the newest truck, definitely check out the Hercules, which is a console version of the Kenworth W990, available on consoles today. As long as you go in and uh, into your mod browser and sort by latest update. You've also got an update to the R&R 8000 series cab over. You've got an update to the uh, purchase any trailer. Uh, mod add-on, and Eric Noble is with the $1 Super Chat. Thank you so much for your support. I genuinely appreciate it. What's up, Scott Bellafontaine? I see you out there in the chat at Life Overload. I see you saying hey in the chat as well. Dude, you guys are really creeping up to that 800 likes mark on the stream. That's freaking wild, y'all. All right, back into the truck store now. Um, I am selling all of my DLC to build up a little bit of money. And let's go to the heavies. And I'm going to buy myself a Kenny. And I'm also going to buy myself a... Wait. The Antarctic is a heavy, right? I th yeah, mm. heavy or off-road. One of the two. Well, it's not in here where the normal Antarctic is. So, maybe he changed its class? Is it not on? It... Oh, I swear if he made it a scout. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't make it a scout. Okay. Heavy duty, maybe? Um, I was oh, just messing with it the other here's day. Here's the RNG, the Oshkoshes. Dude, these are the console-friendly Oshkoshes. These are crazy. And by the way, you guys, boom, there is that 800 likes mark blown through. Thank you so much, you absolute freaking incredible people. Thank you guys so much. All right, so that is getting, well, before I buy that, where's the iceberg? I'm so confused. The Maybe it didn't get turned on after. The ice because he has eludes me. He, he has a uh, picture for it in the store. Hmm. And it's just like the one that is on the mod itself. So the reason it's not showing up is a bit odd. Yeah. Um. Hold on. Subbed mods only. And where is it? Oh. It didn't get turned on, and I'm a dummy. Okay. Never mind about that. I'm a doofus, and it didn't get turned on. Let's see. I just watched one of your old GTA 5 videos. Boy, that's amazing. And let's see. You didn't turn it on? Yeah. It says I only have $5,000. Once again, that is a um, that is an issue with certain mod maps after the Phase 4 update. The creators of the maps just need to add a new line of code into their map and then get it updated and re-verified. And Eric Nobles with the $2 Super Chat. Let's see. My last couple of dollars keep up the good work. Oh my god. I don't want to take your last couple. Oh no. Well still, I hope you're good. But once again, thank you so much for supporting the stream and supporting the channel, my dude. And let's see. Cameron A, what's up? And somebody said LOL noob in all caps. I'm like, okay. Okay. We all forget to turn on a certain mod sometimes. Oh, there it is. Azov Iceberg. Alright, we're building this thing. Torque Monster. Now let's see, y'all asked for it, LOL, 1 million torque, but still has manners. Okay. It Special is a, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a well-mannered truck. Yeah, is, by the way, is the off-road really slow? Like, how slow no. is it? Oh, okay. Um, uh, we'll just do high. We'll do Whichever one has six speed, six gears is one, is the one I ran the other day. Uh, the off-road is the seven speed. Ah, okay, seven speed. I'm sorry, I'm thinking a different truck. Okay, so I'm thinking about running the... Right now it's got the cat uh, telehandler tires, but I might run... Actually, I really like the telehandler tires. They look really good on this thing. Uh, it's yeah. front-facing, and I like the Pog flatbed. 
Ooh, the utility tent looks sick, too. Um, all the Pog stuff looks good. The Atlas Crane. Oh, I love, 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 love the Pog stuff on this truck. So, let's yeah, see. Yeah, when you get out of the garage, try and pick up the K1500 with the Pog Crane. Oh, you think I should add a Pog Crane? Yeah. Okay, let me, get, let me go through and make sure one will fit. Um, I'm sure it will, but yeah, Atlas 1... I guess there's two Atlas ones. I don't know why, but let me do I think the one is slightly flat. bigger than the other. One is hmm. Oh yeah, one is slightly bigger. This one fits better, so I'll use it. Um, reinforced bar, not gonna worry about that. Twin horns, I'll take them. Family pack, definitely going for the beans and TC card. And let's see. Uh, why do people think that controller is big when it's normal size and TC is just small? What? <laughs> Oh my god, mind explosion, oh god. Cameron and Deborah, what's going on out there in the chat? I see you guys saying hi. And, let's see. Yeah, TC is only like, <laughs> he's only like, like, like this this tall off the ground and he's actually streaming from like a shrunken world. Okay, uh, let's see. Heat shielded, muzzle, flap cap, stock. I'll take heat shielded. And any custom colors, eh, kinda. That fits really well with the pog crane. Uh, Bobblehead's definitely throwing beans on the dash, and out we go. Remember, this is the one million torque setup, so let's see. Oh, thank you, Cameron Walken. I really appreciate that. Will the IX family pack come to consoles? I see no reason why it wouldn't, you know what I mean? I honestly don't know, Rixta. I really, truly don't know. So it's morning out here right now, and we're going to take this thing through some tests. Hmm. I wonder if it'll make it down the... Oh, God. Oh, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be hell on the suspension. But who knows? It might have enough damage to handle it. I wonder if it'll, like, bounce over or flip over. That's awesome, Blake! That's legit! I'm so glad you picked up SnowRunner, man! I usually only... Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, my God, Tristan. No hate! No hate! Come on! <laughs> boing! Boing! Good God. It stays in high, though. I mean, if you like the Azov Antarctic, but it's not powerful enough for you, here you freaking go. I mean, it works. It handles the power concern. That's for it sure. It also has chain tires, so if you want to take it to Amandra. Which, I gotta say, right off the bat, like, the fact that this thing doesn't come with chain tires in the base game is so dumb. It's so bad. Like, I'm yes. gonna try out that crane as well. Because Diesel says it can apparently load whatever vehicle you want with ease. So, I'm going to try to load... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What should I try to load? Hmm. Oh, beautiful. Yes, the Yeet Mobile. What better option to test it out on? Hello there, Mr. Yeet Mobile. Um, let me change over to the Yeet Mobile. And does it have a winch point on top? Oh, it does. Oh, beautiful. All right. Change back to the iceberg. Crane mode. Let's see how this pog crane does. I am interested. Uh. What? Oh, I guess it needs to be a normal winch. Uh. Hmm. It well, that's a bit annoying. It won't let me winch to a car with it. Oh, what? I am... S Did it let you winch to a car? Honestly, I never tested it out with a car. I just grabbed cargo. Oh, yeah, it might be restricted. Let's see, ATC, who are you talking with? Glad I could make it to another stream. Yeah, I've got Diesel Addict in the VC right now. Mm -hmm. Yup, nice crane sockets. Well, it would be nice if this thing could attach to them. Um, I'm on a stop on a stock stock truck. Uh, let's try a stock truck. Um, let me try the where's the 750. Um, let's see. Or the Scout 800, like a easy, 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 like a Scout 800. I see no reason why it shouldn't be able to pick up a Scout 800. No reason why. All right, crane mode. Aha. So it'll pick up a Scout 800. It just won't pick up the Yeetmobile. 
by the way, look at that. It picks it up with ease. Total ease. Absolute yeah, this, total ease. Oop. This is what the game needed. Dude, 100%. Let me get this, like, settled. To where it's nice and easy, or not. Nice and easy. Hey! <laughs> Dropped it right at the right time. Alright. Restore crane. Pack it up. Oh, that's so cool! That's so freaking sick. I love that. All right, let's see. Oh, I've got a challenge for it, actually. Let's see if we can make it over that main balance bridge. Your Yeet Mobile is immune to the crane. Apparently, it is. Which, the Yeet Mobile has something coming to it because it wouldn't let me load it up. The Yeet Mobile is going to get ya yeeted with the scout on the back of the truck. But the funny thing is, the Yeet Mobile just, like, shrugged it off like it didn't happen. Okay, now, the balance bridge. I'm nervous. Because this starts leaning real bad. Oh, boy. This starts leaning real bad, y'all. And if the truck falls too far to one side, it's toast! It's absolute toast if it falls too far to the side. Oh, boy. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. And we made it! We made it! All right, heading heading out to the mud now. Just the main mud. I wonder if he tweaked these tires to have improved mud grip. Yep, he did. Well, he did say it'll go through anything. It's, um, it feels like it. Let's see. I would download that map if it wasn't 500 megabytes. Honestly, man, it's worth it, though. I know it's, like, very large in terms of size. It's totally worth it, though. Totally worth it. Now, since we have the scout on the back, I'm going to use that scout. Yeah, full Hammond send. All right, we're going to see how it does through some of these crawling obstacles that, you know, trucks this big should not attempt. All right, here we go. Oh my god, up you go! If you make it up that one without flipping over, I'll be surprised, because that is just way too top-heavy. Ah, don't worry about it, we good. Donut, my dude. We're up here, we get a, we get a donut for our hard work, my dude. <laughs> That's a solid donut. I know, right? It's, it's a thick old boy. Oh god, right off the other side. Back in high, I can't see. Woo! Putting that scout through its, like, not even through its paces, just, like, through everything. Oh! Oh, man. We were so close to that being a thing. Man, I missed something. Is that the iceberg? You better freaking believe it's the iceberg. What's up, Hunter and Brian? I see you guys out there in the chat. Man, so has come so far 100 freaking percent. Like, it has come so far. Now that it's been out for over a year, like, seeing where it is now is unfreaking believable. Absolutely unfreaking believable. All right, so we're going to actually try out the Kenny 10x10 in comparison to this because. They're similar trucks. One's obviously got a little bit more, a uh, little bit more tires than the other one, but extreme, um, high range, OP, and we're gonna run the ridiculous over-the-top tires that are down at the bottom, the Boinya tire. And what's up, Diamond Wolf? I see you saying hi out there in the chat. Can you try the 142 Miata tires? I forgot about them, but thank you so much for reminding me. I'm gonna go ahead and grab them in, in a second here. So let's do a uh, big platform and repaint it to bright red and leave the garage. Okay, this guy is silly. That guy is just freaking silly. Now it's time to buy the Miata, which I know the Miata will be fine. The Miata will basically be able to do anything and everything that this map can throw at it. But it will do it in a very meme-oriented fashion, I would say. Where should I, like, I don't know. Diesel, where should I take it first? Um, hmm. Mud pit, maybe? 
I'm down for Mud Pit. Let's do some, you know, not too crazy MTs, but like MTs that are like fairly, you know, like fairly grippy, but nothing over the top. Got a race suspension on it. And I'm going to actually, oh, I'm going to put the Miata in the back of the Kenny. Yes. <laughs> actually, um, I have to take off. All right, I hate man. to do that, but I got to get going. No worries. Thank you so much for hanging out with us while you could. And w I had a blast with you as always, and I'm sure the stream loved having you out here. Hey, thank you for having me, TC. See you next time. All right. See you, bro. Later. Later, man. Later. All right, let me go ahead and make sure that... Yep, there we go. All right, I wanted to go ahead and make sure that we weren't um, in a consistent VC with just ourselves. But, um, and yes, the 142s are going on the Miata momentarily. I forgot the 142s. I forgot that that's what we were doing this for, was the 142s. But, all right, let me grab the Miata and go into the garage. Big lift. And... Oh! So there's that. Uh... Yeah, I don't think it's gonna pack like this. I really don't think it's gonna pack like this, boys. Uh... Uh... Okay. Yeah, she ain't packing like that. Not happening. Those are the 142s, right? Yeah, 142 boggers. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. It will pack? Oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah, it's a full-on meme car, really, at this point. I just don't know if it'll pack on the Kenny. I've never tried to pack it on the Kenny. That's actual Twisted Metal, is it? Let's see, easy does it. Approaching the Kenny with care. Uh, it flips over backwards. Bruh. It's gonna go through the mud pit like it's not even there, though. I 100% guarantee you that. 100% guarantee you that. All right, be easy with it. I feel like the tires are too wide to pack. They're not boggers, they're poggers, right? It's too wide to pack like that. There's no way it'll pack. Yeah, not like that. It's too wide for this uh, for this transport service uh, surface. I almost said transport service. I'm like, bruh, it's a sherp. Basically, that's the closest thing we have to a sherp and snowrunner right now. So yeah. What's funny is you could probably adopt that same philosophy and use it to somehow. Like, use it as a roundabout way to kind of make a Sherp. You know what I mean? It'd be weird, and I don't know if it'd fully work properly, but it'd be there. And goodbye, Miata. We'll get it back momentarily. We're going to see how this thing rips through the mud, because I'm sure it's going to absolutely send it. Those tires might be rubbing a tiny bit. Yeah, you don't say. You don't freaking say, bud. All right, let's make a run through that mud. Go, 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 go. There she goes. She's sending it. Wow. Actually, like, for a hauler, mad props. You can go through mud like this in a hauler. You're going to be hauling everything to its destination immediately. Oh, there it is. It's like, when is it going to be here? Yesterday is when it's going to be here. Your plants are on it right now? Oh, that's awesome, Jerry. That's legit. Well, now that we've proven that the Kenny 10x10 has no problem going through the mud, we're going to get back in the Miata, or the, uh, the Meme Yada. This thing has three different names. The Miata, the Mud Yada, and the Meme Yada. Because it basically is a meme. All right, repair and refuel. Now it's time to take the Meme Yada to the mud pits. And, uh, God, you can see the tires right there when you look at it from the inside. I'm like, bruh. What map is this? Uh, CTFT Proving Grounds, bro. 100%. All right, let's give it a blast through the mud. Uh, we can't avoid the, uh, the yeet mobile. Sorry. All right. Three, two, one. Let's send it. So 
So far, so good. Oh, wow, yeah, um, mud doesn't matter to it. Mud does not matter. Holy freaking smokes, mud does not matter. Yeah, there's literally nothing in here that, oh, yep, that's where it starts to, that's where it starts to dig. Yeah, these tires don't particularly like, or I should say these, the coating of these tires doesn't particularly like that type of mud. But with that being said, though, uh, actually, ironically, I feel like the Kenny 10x10 was just as good as this thing in mud. Super ironic, but like, hey, I mean, you can't sneeze at it. It does kind of work in a way. But with all of that being said, we actually just crossed the three-hour mark on the stream. Also, that's because we started streaming an hour early today. We started at 11. Is that a noon? But once again, I want to say a massive thanks to each and every one of you guys for being out here today. Don't forget, we have a brand new video going live at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time later on today, which is going to coincide with the public release of Lime's F450. So make sure you are out at that video because it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a really fun one, and it's one that I'm really really excited about. But also, guys. Thank you so much just for stopping by and hanging out with me. Like, it's always a blast getting to hang out with you guys, whether you're one of the moderators, mod creators, um, if you're just somebody that likes to hang out and chill and watch or chat or super chat or whatever the case may be. Thanks to, actually, I should say major massive thanks to each and every one of you for everything that you guys do, whether it be out here on the streams or in the videos or wherever the case may be. Thank you guys all so, so, so much. You, you guys allow me to do, like, literally the things that I love to do every single day, and I cannot thank you guys enough. So once again, major, major thanks to each and every one of y'all, and I will see y'all in the next stream or the next video. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.